What's going on, party people? Yo, yo, yo. What up, what up, what up? Welcome back. We are streaming again today because we felt like it. We were like, we're gonna be building. We might as well do like kind of like a chill evening stream. This set is huge, so why not? Huge. Huge. Uh, Yusuf, hello, hello. Back again. Hi, everyone. Hello, Mamasaurus. Howdy, howdy. We got Auntie Reviews, and next time starts now. Yes, Nick, we are back live. Hello, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for not getting tired of us yet. <laughs> <laughs> Freak Stream Geek, hey guys, what's, hey, going, what's on? going on? Bud? We got the pupper here, throw to the walls. Hey, what's, hey, what's going on, what's going doggy? On, we saw a dog the other day that looked just like you. I was like, is that? <laughs> is, that is that you? <laughs> is that him? Um, Anna, hello, hello. We got Seth here. Keel Jones, hurry up and start. JK, we're trying. Working we're on we're it. doing our best. <laughs> oh, it looks more good. Oh, yay. We are, we're just trying our best. We are, I don't know, we're hanging out. It'll be like a chill kind of evening stream. We don't really do that. But. So, yeah, so just to kind of add on, so Emily started probably, I don't know, around noon today, and she worked on building this till about four-ish. It was a very long stream. And then uh, I came in probably around 2.30 and helped her, and I filled the little hooves. So we have four hooves done. Little hooves. And, and little, like, a chassis. A chassis? Uh, yeah. I think that's the belly. Or the, sure. I don't know what the, the chassis belly. is. Um, like the main frame. Um, not, not, not a computer though, not like a main frame. So this is actually the computer, not the computer, this is the bottom <laughs> of it. Um, so like over here is supposed to be the little flap that Luke chops off and throws a thermal detonator in. And then, uh, because a lot of people probably weren't here for the, the first stream this morning, the way it comes in, it comes with the four boxes. And you see how get it so it doesn't glare so you see how that's all dark and then those are lights that means this part of the box or uh, this section is the the feet and the legs so that's what Emily's gonna be working on now I get to do the same thing four times and then I'm working Yay. on box one which is gonna have it's its belly uh, yeah the the belly and then the the top of the legs and then also I think the screwdriver is in here so we haven't got to any of the mini figs yet, and we won't until the next box. So we're probably not going to. Is that gonna... true? Yeah. Oh gosh. Um, might not even be till later. No. Yeah. Okay. Box three. We get three of the the snow troopers. These piles are huge. Anyways, hello. Let's see. Uh, so Saxon saying I'm building a set right now as well. Awesome. We got Christian M here. What's going on, Christian? Sorry. Oh, you're good. Do you want to say hi to Christian? Hi. <laughs> there it is. Uh, and then Christian Bergeron, hello, nice shirt. Thank you. Yes, this is very much on brand for what we're building. It used to be Ross's shirt, and then I took it, and now it's my shirt. I don't fit in it anymore. It's fine. That's okay. Um, Brian Anderson, what's going on? Hello. Um, Anna's here again. Hope everyone's been having a good day. Cody Jones, how's your dog, Ladybird? She is in the other room brooding. She yeah. wants to participate, but like... She's really annoying. She like always... <laughs> I'll be like working, she like sticks her head up here and won't let me work. She's like, I need pets. Like she acts as if we don't spend all day like petting her. It's ridiculous. Will you build the UCS ATAT -AT with me? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so here's the uh, here's the the big gears that are probably gonna be used on on like the the joints or whatever the articulation points. So they're pretty big and they're pretty beefy. So um, we'll hope they'll stand up. To yeah. standing up. Stand up. <laughs> I'm really curious to see if this like collapses. And I was telling Ross it would be kind of funny to have just like a 24 hour cam on this set like on the shelf. Just like just, watching just it. to see. When, if, if and when it'll fall. And in case you're just like so bored, you know, I'll just throw some lo-fi and you can just stare at an ATAT. <laughs> It'll be great. Put some like snow filters over it. That's what that's what YouTube needs. Uh, boss man, what's going on? What's up? Um, I was all catching up on the chat. Pause, Ross. It's a doggo, not a horse. <laughs> Hooves. I think of it more as a camel, but Emily likes doggo. And it's a little dog. So then we compromise, and so now it's a doggo. <laughs> um, Emily's working on the drumsticks. Ross is working on the thighs. The thighs. <laughs> yup. Just working our way through it. It is a beast of a set. It's like 6,000 pieces, which is wild. Um, but yeah, we got this from Land and Lego, by the way. I feel like bill end time, everyone's probably asleep, but Lego, thank you so much for sending this. 
I feel like they're always watching, but I'm like, really always late feels over there. Like somebody's watching me. We're like the Monsters, Inc. Always watching. Always watching you, Krasowski. <laughs> always watching. No. You gotta do. You gotta do the voice. I don't. I don't think I do. <laughs> I don't gotta do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I need to do that. Um, I'm throwing things. Let's see. When does this Lego set come out? Great question. Uh, November 26th. It'll be 800 US dollars, 950 Canadian, and like 1250 Australian or something insane like that. Oh, you know what? That brings me to a point. I don't know if there's any Australians uh, here, or really, I guess any non-Americans. Um, because, you know, I often hear that it's like, oh man, it's so much more expensive in other countries than it is in the U.S. Just a quick question. I don't know about other countries, but like, how do, how do you guys do your sales tax? Um, so, in the U.S. <laughs> what a boring question. I know, it's just like, in, so in the U.S., this set is $800, but we live in Texas. And in Texas, and different states have different sales taxes. And in Texas, we have an 8.25% tax. So that comes out to like almost, probably just round to $60 or so of Yikes. just tax. So, you know, in reality, it comes out to about $860. Let's just call it that. Because um, I think that's how much the Falcon cost when I got it too. Um, that's a lot of but dollars. if you go to like another state like Pennsylvania, they only have like 3% tax. So, um, we should then, travel there if we're buying Lego. <laughs> But, um, I think that in other countries, and I'm not entirely sure, but I think that the tax is already baked into the good. Oh, is that true? Yeah, let us know. I mean, to be fair, though, I guess all we have are, like, maybe, like, Australians and New Zealands. Kiwis? <laughs> is, that, is that the right word? I think so. I think so. Um... But yeah, let us know. The UK has 20% VAT included in all sales, so it'll be $750 for us. Okay, 20% tax? 20%. California's 9.5. Yeah, he's like... California's 9.5. <laughs> Dang. Eesh. That's too many. <laughs> too much tax. No, thank you. Nope. Oh, my goodness. Man. Oh, by the way, we have a new subscriber, Kayla. Thank you so much for what being up, up, here, up? for finding the channel, for clicking on this video, and then subscribing. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Which, by the way, be like Kayla. We have 80 people in chat. Hello. Ooh, if you are brand new, make sure you subscribe. Smash that like hang button. Hang out with us. Um, let's see. Why should they subscribe? Uh, There's a lot of reasons. There's a lot of good reasons. It, it, uh, it makes us feel good about ourselves. We get endorphins. and Which are not to be confused with dolphins. <laughs> Sorry. So, some of us like the dolphin noises. Some of us like kinda that. Stuck. I, don't know, I don't know what the stream is. <laughs> Eric, welcome from Tampa, Florida. Oh, awesome. Um, let's see. Four Elia's man. saying here in Mexico the tax is already included in the final price. In Canada we have 15%. Actually, he said 14.975, but I rounded up. I'm sorry for that. Wait. 15%? So, and look at you complaining here. Well, no, 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 I'm not complaining. Well, look, to other states, it's a lot, but California is also, like, the most taxed state in the country. So, um, Dang. that makes more sense, I guess. But also, Dang it's, it's, it's all weird. I don't want to get too into it, but, like, in, in Texas, we don't have a state income tax, which is why our sales tax is so high, but what really gets us is our property taxes are really high. Why are we talking about Anyways. taxes? This <sighs> yeah. is so boring. <laughs> well, because people are always talking about the price of Lego. It all comes down to Lego. Okay. And okay. At least bring it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like, I'm just trying to either rationalize why it is that other countries have to pay so much more. Yeah. Because I think, I, I don't remember the numbers exactly, but I'm pretty sure that the, um, um, the Falcon, you know, in America, the Falcon and the uh, AT AT or the eight hundred dollars. I'm pretty sure it's the it's more expensive in the UK. The AT AT is more expensive than the Falcon in the UK. Oh, weird. So I'm like, okay, well then they. I don't know how to explain that. We have a that. member. Oh, hey. We have a Boss member. Man. Boss man, welcome. Boss Thank you so much for joining the membership. That is incredible. Make sure to come hang out with us on Discord if you would like to. You don't you don't have to, but like it would be cool yeah, if you did. Yeah, go check out the link. Yeah, check it out. Come hang out with us. Show off your Lego collection. Show us your latest Lego haul, display, whatever you want to do. Introduce yourself. Say hi. 
That is incredible. And here you are on our ATAT. -AT. Appreciate the support, folks. Boss man. All right, there it is over there. Boss man. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Man, we really appreciate your support. And oh, greetings from Alaska. I don't think we've Ooh. ever like known we had someone from Alaska before. Yeah. That's so cool. Welcome. <laughs> Fun fact, like my best friend in seventh grade moved away to Alaska. Hey, and, mine too. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. When she told me, I thought she was kidding. I was like, what? Yeah, so Alaska's right. not real. <laughs> <laughs> we were like in Florida and it's like, Florida to Alaska is like as far as you can get in the US essentially. But yeah, super cool. And then also we have another new sub, OLA. Hello and welcome. Great to have you here. Thank you so much for subscribing. I, saw, I think I saw bricks and mortar making fun of me. Ooh. Oh, what? Ross e equals Mr. Taxosaurus. <laughs> <sighs> taxes, man. He's always thinking about taxes. I am always thinking about it. And you, you should all always be thinking about taxes. This is the most boring stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was about to go on a rant here and I stopped myself, so. <laughs> Just, uh. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ross is just thinking about taxes right now. It's fine. We have 91 people here, and you're talking about taxes. <laughs> sorry. What is happening? <laughs> the end of the year is coming up. Just make sure we get all our it's receipts. It's tax season. No, it's not, but. <laughs> well, maybe somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> Brick Rehab. Hello. at at with a Santa cap. Isn't it cute? So, yeah, I have a new phone board if you didn't see it earlier. It's a little AT-AT -AT with a Santa hat. So yeah, that's kind of fun. Um, I usually have like a little special thing on the foam boards. So this time, like if it's, I think it, like we came up with a donation of 20 or more, you get to go into the Santa hat. Um, but anything is appreciated. You just being here is incredible. Thank you so much for being here, hanging out with us. No, you're breathtaking. No, you're breathtaking. <laughs> That's what I think of every time I see Keanu Reeves now, <laughs> like from the like the what was it E3 or something a few years ago. Yeah, when it was a so cyberpunk just, like, that did not him. age well though, because uh, that was for cyberpunk. And, oh, uh, awkward. We all know how that went. <laughs> uh, Soros rant. Soros rant. Taxes. <laughs> Want to know what crime This is why sometimes I'm like, should we start a podcast? Maybe <laughs> just, not. We just want to like hear me complain about things. <laughs> but like in my head, I, I like I come off as like I know what I'm not not. No, I don't. I wouldn't say that. But I come off like I'm the victim here, and I'm like really not. You're really not. You're, you're okay. <laughs> you're doing okay, Ross. Um, let's see. The dolphin sounds are my favorite part of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> It's always for you. I it hope comes, you know that. Like we don't Lego, do that for anyone else. He stays for the dolphins. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, Anna's here saying, did you guys see the new No Way Home poster yet? If so, what are your thoughts? I saw that there was one, but I didn't yeah. actually like look at I'm it. I'm at like the point now, It's we're getting so close to it that now I avoid things. Usually I'll watch the first trailer, maybe the second trailer is when these movies come out, but now I, I'm at the point where I'm like, all right, I'm staying away from everything. Yeah. Um, I don't trust When it. does it come out? Do we know? I'm more anxious about when the uh, ticket sales are supposed to come out. Because oh. I want to make sure we get tickets. Yeah. Um, I was quick on Eternals, man. I got the Eternals ticks. We've and, seen Eternals twice yeah. now. I got those tickets like within a minute of them popping up. How did you know about them? Uh, coworker <laughs> pinged me. Oh, nice. And then I somehow I was like, what, really? And I just whipped out my phone and got the tickets. And she's like, oh, you got them before I did. So, got to be quick. <laughs> Quick hands. Amazing. Ooh, Henry Wolf, welcome. Uh, Goku's here. Welcome, welcome. Hey, when Goku. I was young, I lived in New Mexico. When my family moved, people asked me what it's like living in another country. <laughs> <laughs> in New Mexico. <laughs> Where did you move to? <laughs> right? Where did thought, you move to after I thought, um... Oh my god. Why am I not to send my kids to that school district? <laughs> Thing. Oh, episode five is the best one. I love episode five. That's definitely one of my favorites. We're talking Star Wars? Yes. Star Wars. Oh yeah, Star episode Wars. five. We watched it this weekend, actually. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you saw it earlier, but Chef T is here saying, a girl. Oh, what's what going on? A girl, a girl. A girl. <laughs> I like didn't say a girl once to Hive and he's still upset about it. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta make it up to him. Oh my gosh, I won't see the Eternals. Oh, why not, Henry? It was really good, I liked it. I really enjoyed it. Like, 
I really had no idea what to expect going into it. And because I didn't know anything, it was better the second time because, well, his family was visiting, so like they wanted to see it. And like, I was like, okay, fine, we can see it again. And I liked it so much more because I was like, oh, this is what's going on. <laughs> okay, like, I get yeah, it. Yeah, it was very much the kind of person that needs to like already know what happens in yeah, a movie. Yeah, I just want to know what happens first and then I can enjoy it. And I'm like, you know, I can focus on not wondering what's going on. You know, I feel like that's a big part of it. Oh, the tray company! Oh, hey, what's Emily? going on? Hello! I'm not gonna sing a song. <laughs> I know y'all did that on your live stream, but it's great to have you here. Welcome. You like the shirt? Oh, yeah. It's like very on theme with, you know, ATAT. -AT, <laughs> you know, it works. <laughs> it's great to have you here. Hello. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, Goku says I moved to Detroit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that explains it. You know what though, Goku? I only know like, well, I know a few things about Detroit, but the main one is that the pizza there is so good. It's like Detroit style pizza. Poggers all the way. I would live off of it if I could. We're actually but... going to get Detroit style pizza tomorrow for dinner. Wait, yeah. are we really? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Yeah, that's true. It was your idea. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, I'm excited. Forgot about that. Um, Ooh, Super Monkey saying, <laughs> I love that name. Um, I enjoyed The Eternals. I don't really understand the critical reception of it. It was fun. Yeah. I don't know why people I, didn't like it. I agree. It's very it critical. Good. I think it's just kind of the whole, like, hating on... Who are um, these new people? No, I think it's just more like the Hollywood likes to, to hate on the superhero movies. And Marvel just has such a good streak that they just want to bring them down. I think that's really what Lame. it comes down to. That's the first nice review I've heard. Really? Wow. Wow. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. Yeah, like, I liked it a lot. I saw it twice. I mean, you and... definitely got to go in with an open mind, but like, if I, I, I can't really say anything bad about it. Like, mm. in terms of a Marvel movie, it was good, and in terms of a movie, it was good. Like, it wasn't the best, but yeah, um, yeah, it wasn't like insane, but it was good. Like, I really enjoyed it. Oh, Trey Company saying hi to Carter. Aw. People saying hey to each other. I love it. Making friends. Make friends, friends everybody. Friends, friends, friends. Definitely have friends. Friends, friends. Yum, pizza. I know, right? Mm. Pizza's the best. Pizza's so good. Poggers. Poggers. Um, okay, so now you guys are officially AT AT moms. AT AT moms. <laughs> Instead of dog mom. I'm an AT AT mom. I love it. I'm gonna put I that on a it. hat and you'll wear that from now on. Okay. Okay. Gosh. I, it's just so funny because like he wears the dog mom hats everywhere, but he has like two now. He has like this one and then I have like official Emosaurus merch dog mom. Really it was just because he wanted another one and I was like... In a different color. Yeah, so we made that happen. I like to have a lot of my clothes, the same clothes, but in different colors. I do that too. It's actually so nice. Um, but yeah, and then like there's this restaurant we go to and every time we're there, like the first time they were like, dog mom? That's funny. Okay, that's funny. And like, you know, we were just chatting with them because it was like, something they hadn't seen before because it's weird and <laughs> different. And then the next time we were there, he was wearing a different dog mom hat and they were like, there's no way. You have two. <laughs> sure do. Sure do. <laughs> he just likes his dog mom hat. And it's like fitting. It's not like him and Ladybird aren't BFFs. Like it works. There was like one time though, someone took it a little too far. Wait, what did they do? Remember, we were at a restaurant and oh God, we were like, we were like switching tables to go sit like at the bar because like for some reason it was gonna be like a three hour wait to sit at a table. Oh yeah. And like, so we're in the middle about to switch and out of nowhere this dude was like, comes and stands by me and I'm like, that's that's weird, but oh, uh, whatever. Oh, weird. And yeah. then like, um, he just kind of goes like, he just show he pulls his wallet out and pulls out some Polaroids of his dog. <laughs> and he's like, "You're a dog mom? Oh yeah. Well, here's my dog. Let me see your dog." And I was like, "Okay, man. Let me get my phone." And like, I had to like a Polaroid. Yeah, I was like, "I'm on vacation, man." <laughs> He just like whipped out pull like out of his like vest. Like he was wearing yeah, like, he a suit. A, he like pulled out a Polaroid of his dog. <laughs> From his like suit jacket. Was, like what? I was like, well, I guess he beat me. I guess he was just happy to meet another dog mom, but like it just it was very he, like, forced. It was very yeah, it felt very confrontational. Um, the tray company, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, that thanks. Was so sweet. 
You are such a light in this community. <laughs> Keep being you, girl. I love it. Aww. Female Lego builders for life. You're cool That's too, so dog sweet. mom. <laughs> Thanks. Aww. Thank you, Emily. I <laughs> appreciate it. So Let's get you onto our cute little board. Have you seen this yet, by the way? It's my new like super chat board, but it's a giant AT-AT -AT with a Santa hat because I thought it was funny. <laughs> she had, she's, I'm just like the impression. stuff Emily does, I'm just like, man, you're just having a blast, aren't you? <laughs> having so much fun. She's living her best Thank life. Thank you so much. That is really, really sweet. Trey. I made sure to put the, the uh, over the A. Oh, I get it, because it's the trays. Yeah. They're really cool. They're so cool. We were looking, I was like, okay, like, what is this? The tray company, okay. And I was like, I need this. Yeah, this is was, so nice. Like, you put the instructions in the I, side. I agree. I would think it would be cool to, like, take They're a bath, so cool. and then you could have it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> write this down. <laughs> Lego sets bath, in the bath patties for <laughs> Lego. Emily, get on it. It's a good idea. Trade company, there you go. Oh, focus. There we go. <laughs> there you are. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Oh, You're wow. Really kind words. And yeah, bath caddy. Write that down. There's a growing number of women in this community and probably men who enjoy baths. So I enjoy baths. The problem is, is I'm 6'4 <laughs> and there's not a lot of tubs I can fit in. Yeah, that's true. So. <laughs> okay, guys, I already, we're already at the leg mechanism. This is super cool. Never oh. stop being dog mom. Thanks. You do you, buddy. Thanks, Flooper. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so we're ready. We got to the leg part pretty quick. Um, you can kind of see it. So, right, there's that big gear piece right here. And then you just spin this. Like, it's super simple. So, that, see, there's like a half of worm gear in here. And you just spin this. And boom, it's turning. So that's at the end. I think that's where we're gonna stick the screwdriver part into, wow. and that's what's gonna change it. Thanks. Throw to the wolves. There you are. Appreciate Thanks for it. hanging out with us for so long. Seven months. That's like in dog years. How long is that? Seven. <laughs> oh wait, it's easier the other way. <laughs> <laughs> if it was one month, it'd be seven months. Oh okay. But now I, have to I don't go know the other how many way. that is. It's seven few times years. seven. <laughs> few dog years. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, my husband's five, six five. Baths don't work. He's six four. He doesn't. Yeah. Fit. It's too much. <laughs> yeah, it just it doesn't work. So. But I would really like to like. Yeah, Ross wants to take baths too. Baths are manly, totally. You know, it's like totally a thing. Everyone can enjoy baths. You remind me of a young version of Madeline Stowe. Stowe? Stowe? I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know who that is. I feel is. like I should. I don't know who that is. But thank you. Thank you though. You know what? Someone told me the other day. I'm, I'm sure we all know, um, sh what is it, Shark Girl and Lava Boy, but the one before that, Spy Kids. Oh, yeah. Someone told me the other day that I look like uh, the girl from Spy Kids. What was her name? Carmen? Carmen something. I think it was Carmen. Someone was like, you look like her. I was like, cool. Cool. Nice. <laughs> Thanks. Self-care for all. Yes, exactly. Yesterday, Emily made me do, like, some sort of, I don't know, Korean... Oh, Base. so at Costco they have a Korean skincare, like a K-Beauty kit. And I was like, okay, let's try this. Like, I don't really know much about skincare, but it tells you what to do. Like, instead of buying all these things and like pretending like you know what you're looking for, it just came in a kit from Costco, so I got it. And I was like, okay, like this feels so nice. Like I had been doing it for a week. Like I feel like my skin looks good. Like I was happy with it. And I was doing it. I was like, hey Ross, like, do you want to do this with me? And so, you know, you start by washing your face and then you put on toner and like eye cream and like, you know, all these things like that. And then moisture, all that stuff. And Ross was like, I feel all sticky. <laughs> I didn't like it. It smelled all synthetic-y. My face felt great afterwards, I will say, and I, I think I even looked like a two years younger. He was like, do I look younger? Yeah, I was like, wow, I look I younger, like, like yeah. already. <laughs> like, that was quick. Like, all my wrinkles went away. But at the same time, I hated the experience. Absolutely. <laughs> zero out of ten. Results, ten out of ten. Experience, zero out of ten. Skin care is important, Ross. <sighs> Did you really hate it that much? I feel like... It felt weird. Yeah. Well... Maybe we'll get just get you on a different skincare routine then. As long as I don't have to put any ointment on my face, I'm fine. <laughs> okay. But I wanted to do like the mask because that's the part that looks. He fun. loves doing the face the face mask. But then she wouldn't let me use them. Well, there, there there's only two. Okay. <laughs> um. 
<laughs> Ooh, on the doggo. Aw, oh, throw to the wolves. Um, skincare is very important. Exactly, Henry. It's super important. Everyone needs it. It's very important. We need anime Lego sets. One Piece and a Lego set. I've never seen One Piece. I know it's on Netflix. Man, I've One Piece has been it. around since like 1999, which <laughs> I guess isn't like that far fetched. Like, like Family Guy. Yeah, Family Guy. Um, some other shit has been American around. Dad oh, or something. Futurama and King of the Hill were also 1999, but they, they both got canceled. Um. It's huge. Huge. <laughs> hey, cool Lego builder. Um. Let's see. Oh yeah, uh, that's what I was gonna say. Anime. So like, Lego tried, um, like making their own anime before, and I'm not talking about Monkey Kicks. We'll get into that in a second. But I can't remember what uh, Exo Force. If you ever yeah. look at those, those minifigures, you're like, man, this is anime. Like, the way they make the eyes, like, they're just huge, and, like, it looks super cartoony, and everyone looks really angry. Uh, and that was a cool line, but it got canceled pretty quick. I don't even think, I think it only made, like, two two waves. But Monkey Kid right now, I think it's holding up pretty well. Um, it's really weird with Monkey Kid. So, you know, they have the show on Amazon now, on Amazon Prime, and it's really funny. Like, we watch it. We're still not caught up. We're, like, halfway done with season one. What, Monkey Kid? Yeah, yeah. but it's, like, really funny, and it's really expressive. It's and you can tell, like, it's it's supposed to be for a younger audience. It's, like, anime for a younger audience. Yeah. But it's, it's really funny. But that means anyone can enjoy it. Yeah, so. for sure. But I, I am happy to see that one like doing well. But I was worried a few weeks ago we were at the Lego store and we saw all the Monkey Kid on clearance. That was so sad. And I was like, is, is Monkey Kid dead already? <laughs> but it bad. turns out like they're, they're changing their marketing up with it. And they're like, no, we're going to keep making Monkey Kid. We're just going to stop selling it at the Lego store. At least here. Like, it's a local thing, but I think, like, in the UK, they still have them. Kevin, I'm Bored Toys up in Canada was saying that they still have them on shelves. So it's, like, really just oh, maybe it case is by local. case kind yeah. of thing. Also, if there's room, because there's so many sets out right now, and they're all huge. Yeah. it's. So, that. I was like, it's kind of funny, like, if you can see the, the shelves in the Lego store over time. And it's just usually most Lego stores I've seen now look the kind of the same, like they have the same layout. So you walk in, and to the right is the adult sets. Yeah. And like it used to just be like a corner, and now it's like slowly pushing it, and like it's pushed everything so far back that then there's like a sliver of Ninjago, and then Star Wars is like on the way back. Yeah. And even then, that's only like a sliver. It's and then, like, it's just, like, the adult stuff is dominating the Lego store right now. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. I mean, that's what sells. Like, that's what sells rather, big. like, sells big. Yeah. yeah. Like, and, I mean, those are all the stuff that you can only get at the Lego store, too, for the most part. True. Right? Because yeah. a lot of those things, other than Monkey Kid, because that's only Lego exclusive. But, like, you know, Star Wars, even Ninjago, you'd buy it just at Walmart. Yeah. Um, oh, you like the Mickey Mouse in the background? Thanks. I like them. They're kind of cute. Oh. Um, Monkey Kid's strong. It's truly a great show. Right, Brick and, Bricks and Mortar? Yeah. Um, I really like it. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's, it's good. Really and good. it's a good line. The, like, the only reason we don't have a lot from it is because, like, it's a lot of vehicles. And nothing against Monkey Kid, but I'm just not big on all the vehicle. On, like, for any theme, really. I mean, that's what we Star Wars, focus but... on, really. It's, like, display sets. Yeah. Stuff that, like, would look good on a wall behind us kind of thing. Or, like, Star Wars ships because you can display them, or Lego City buildings. So, I mean, we're trying to like limit ourselves because, you know, running out of space is a very real thing. <laughs> Another issue. <laughs> like, that's with... a whole other thing to deal with. So that's kind of how we manage our spending, or at least try to. Um, ooh, Bullcraft says that they had some Exo Force Lego sets. They were fantastic. Oh, yeah, so man. Cool. Ooh, I... Christian saying, we still have Monkey Kid here, but most of the sales section is also Monkey Kid. Weird. Same. That's actually us, too. Our whole, like, sale is just Monkey Kid sets. I don't know. Maybe they're not selling well here. I don't know. Well, it's also because Amazon has the rights to sell Monkey Kid now, too. Oh, really? Yeah, so I think that That's might be good. part of it. I think they just shifted the, um, instead of following them into stores, they're gonna just give them to Amazon to sell. Oh, okay. Um, 
so I'm like, nice. it's still, it's really accessible, so yeah. it's not a problem. Which, by the way, y'all, I have Amazon affiliate links down below if you feel like buying Monkey Kid sets. Or actually just saying all the advent calendars right now are like 20% off on Amazon and Zobby. I was just looking, so uh -huh. if you haven't gotten one yet, they're sold out on Lego. I know this is like kind of a Lego semi concert screen, but <laughs> <laughs> just ignore that aspect. <laughs> well, they're sold out on Lego, so. Yeah, they're sold out. Can't do anything fact. about that. Um, well, the other two, tell them how they can save 10%. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> if you guys are looking for Lego for gifts for Christmas or for yourself, whatever, um, if you go on Zavi and you type in code Emma Lego, you'll get 10% off all brand new, you like, whatever sets no like used, full yeah. price sets yeah like, which is which is really good and you know like zavi Daddy. has some exclusive sets too like lego <laughs> exclusive sets yeah uh, like, some, they have like the falcon on there yeah, i think it's sold out but like is, 10 percent on the yeah. falcons like 80 bucks yeah i don't know so, a lot. <laughs> yeah just saying i have i have links down below you can save money yeah save your money and especially stick money. around for black friday because there's gonna be a there's lot gonna of, be really good deals as good well stuff. pretty much yeah yeah, maybe maybe wait till Black Friday. The deals I'm, I can't like say what the deals are. Like that's part of like my agreement with Zavi. But you're not gonna want to miss it. But yeah, they're actually really good. Um, I'm actually gonna take advantage of them. <laughs> they're very good. Um, how's your day been? It's been really good, Bianca. Oh, thank you for been, asking. Yeah, thank you for asking. No one ever asks. No. <laughs> No, we've honestly my whole day has been this, <laughs> like building the set, opening it up, just you know, putting out content on it so far. And it's been incredible. Like this set is gigantic. I've never built a set this big. So it's like a little bit overwhelming, not gonna lie, but I I love it. Like it's, it looks so good. Oh, Christian's like Emma Lego hype. Yes, Emma code Lego Emma hype. Lego. We were gonna do Emma Saurus Lego, but I was like, people I can't, can't I can't spell even that. spell it. Like, I, I still don't know how to spell it. In all it. my tags on videos, like for searchability, I know like <laughs> a good chunk of people who search for me search like Emma Saurus with like A-S at the end instead of U-S at the end. So I always have to like type in both just to cover my bases. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I'm the as problem. long as you found me, you're here. It's cool, we're all good. Uh, I have a question for you. Do you keep your Lego boxes? If so, what do you do to your Lego boxes? Ooh, I that, break down. It's a, uh, it's a deep question, sensitive question. It's not that sensitive. <laughs> we, generally, we toss everything, right? We toss, basically, I don't know. We'll usually hold on to the bigger boxes. Yeah. Like, you know, Home Alone, the UCS, Mystery Box. Yeah, big, um, like, expensive type boxes, you know? We'll hold on to them for a little bit. And ideas, too, just because yeah. they're really nice boxes. Those are nice boxes. And then we'll toss them. We'll like look through them probably six months, every six months or so, yeah. and just be like, do we really need this? Reassess. No, okay. Like the art boxes, you can't really see it, but the like Mickey and Minnie art above me that you can't see, those I threw away recently, and it's really nice. It's like a pizza block, like pizza box, but I tossed them. I don't, I didn't need them. Like they just take up space. So yeah, we have like a closet where it's just full of boxes and like Ross's old stuff. Um. What's going on? Oh, cool, Joseph. Oh, Joseph. Hey, thank party you so people. Much. <laughs> oh, hey, party people. Thanks, <laughs> Joseph. Loving all the live streams. Do you have any favorite minifigs? Let's see. Mine are probably Velma, Queen Amidala. Those are good ones. Like Mickey or Minnie Mouse, Tinkerbell. I like Jessie from Toy Story. She has like dual molded legs and they're really yeah, cute. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, really cool. They're good ones. Like all mine are like this clone trooper. <laughs> This other clone trooper. This other very like <laughs> version of the clone trooper. <laughs> and I'm like <laughs> exciting. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Joseph. Yeah, I mean, what are your favorites? You didn't tell me your favorites though. Oh, you know, uh, Phase Two, Captain Rex is got to be goat for sure. <laughs> um, I like the shock troopers, the clone trooper shock troopers. Yeah. Those are really cool. I'm glad I have some of those. Um, what? <laughs> pretty much just naming clone troopers again. There we go, Joseph. <laughs> Thank you so much for Appreciate your support. Appreciate the support. I'm glad you enjoy the live streams. We do them very often, so I'm glad you enjoy them. <laughs> but yeah, minifigs. I, I have to be honest. I haven't actually said this on the channel before, uh -oh. and I'm embarrassed about it. Uh oh. I, I like actually started making a video about it, and I was like, should I actually say this? When I first started getting into Lego. I guess like my first set was the women of NASA and I liked it because of the minifigs. I thought they were cool, but, but. I, um, 
that was it. Like besides those minifigs, I just didn't get it. Like I didn't get the hype around minifigures. I just did not care. Like Ross would be at Bricks and Minifigs and he would just stare at like the Star Wars section for an hour. And I was like, what are you doing? Like, do you want a set? <laughs> Why don't you buy a Lego set? You're Why doing you Lego these? wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I did not understand it. And now I get it. I'm like, okay, like, yeah, the minifigs, it's like collectability. Like it's things that you care about, you know, like they're just really cute. Um, but yeah, for the longest time, I was like, I don't like minifigs. I don't really understand the hype. I don't think you disliked them. You just didn't yeah, care for Yeah, I just them. didn't care. I was like, why? Like, if you're buying the set, buy the set. Why do you care about the minifigs? Um, look who we have in chat. Who do we have? Who do we have? Brick Wiz. The Brick Wiz. Hello, Matt. Yep. Hello, hello. See. Well, yeah. well, Matt, it's not the only acceptable answer. It's just the only canon answer because Phase 2 Commander Phase two Cody is isn't out yet. Um, P2CC. I've been talking with Matt about it. We're trying to get our top guys to get on the case, but it turns out we don't have that much pool. Uh, <laughs> I was going to be like, who are your top guys? <laughs> right now it's Matt. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, good luck, y'all. <laughs> I know Ross would actually probably cry if there was a face to Commander Cody. Like, he would probably get emotional about it. Or, or like, run around and jump. I think I'd just be relieved. <laughs> like, about time. Like, oh, finally. Now now what do I get mad at? <laughs> yeah, there's always something, right? Um, oh, my gosh. Um, ooh, we got a new subscriber. Temet, thank you so much for subscribing. Ooh, welcome, welcome. You are awesome. Thanks for being here. By the way, if you're in chat and you're not subscribed, be like Temet. Be like them. Why yeah, not? Hit that subscribe button. Come on. Just do it. Come on. Hang out with us. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Um, ooh, the Toys That Made Us episode on Lego. Oh, yes. that's a great one. That's so good. I like that one a lot. There's a lot, there's like three good documentaries about Lego, but two of them are like produced by Lego. So, <laughs> so it's like a little biased. Yeah, there's, I wouldn't say bias, but everything's happier than, um, it might have actually been. But the Toys That Made Us is probably the really good one that like takes a, a pretty good like step back and views the, the history of the company. I, I rec if you're into Lego, like uh, if you're watching this stream, you're enough into Lego that you should definitely watch that, and you can see the, the history of Lego, and and you also got like a feel for the like, kind of maybe the attitude or like the 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 way of thinking a lot of the people at Lego work, and it it, it actually helps make sense of a lot of things. Yeah, it was really cool. I like those documentaries. That's actually what got me into Lego too. Ross was oh, like, yeah. okay, oh, yeah, you don't know right. what Lego is. It's not a kid's toy. You should probably like check out this documentary. And so we watched it and it was about mock building. And I think it was like showing stuff from Brickworld Chicago. I think so. Right? Yeah, yeah it was like a, a huge conference. And I was like, wait, there's so many adults was, building. Uh, huge oh, it was things. called the Brickumentary, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it is. That's on Amazon Prime? I think it is. Maybe yeah. Hulu. Well, no, I think I bought it on Amazon Prime. Oh, as you well. bought it? Wow. Well, well, when it came out, oh. um, like years ago. Oh, okay. But um, I think it might be available like, free dedication. somewhere else. But. Mm -hmm. Well, I was excited for it because it, it, it was one of those ones that you watch and you're like, I'm an adult into Lego and there's other adults <laughs> into Lego just like me. And uh, yeah, and then and then you can convince your wife to get into Lego. And now you're, and then, and now then you're here. We're building the UCS ATAT <laughs> for the internet. Yay. <laughs> Hi, internet. <laughs> so you can tell we're pretty excited today because of the set. It's really yeah, it's fun. so cool. We're having a good time with it. I saw Matt had it. Mm -hmm. um, he was like streaming earlier on Instagram and he had it in the background. It was like gigantic. He said yeah. it took him like 12 hours to build it. I'm like, oh, yeah. we're slow. Well, I'm slow. He's fast, but yeah, it's gonna take forever. It's fine. I think I saw his too. It was the one where there was a picture comparing it to the 2021 or that might've, was it yours, Matt? I think it was. I also saw one of David's too. Oh, okay. Um, but it's just dwarfs it, man. <laughs> like, like, I thought that was such a, a, a pretty realistic set. Like, I knew it was a little small for minifig scale, but I didn't realize it was yeah. that small for yeah, minifig scale. Yeah, it's tiny. Yeah, it's nice having a bigger one. These are just so cool. There we go. We got a new subscriber as well, Wesley. Thank you so much for being here, for subscribing. We really do appreciate it. Source it totally squad. helps us out. Our Saurus squad. <laughs> yep, that's us. I thought I already subscribed. Well, I am now. Aww, thanks so much, Wesley. Just double check. See, sometimes you're lurking and you don't even know. 
What would that be called? Is there like accidental a word? Accidental lurker. An accidental lurker. There it is. There's. We just made that up. Non-intentional. Right Unintentional lurking. <laughs> Unintentional lurking. Yeah. Oh man. Um. Let's see. So, Mr. Bricks is saying, I want to display the UCS Star Destroyer next to the light cruiser, but I don't know if they would scale well. I don't have the light cruiser yet. Do you think they would scale well? Wait, he said the UCS Star Destroyer? Next to the light cruiser? You know, that might... That's a good question. I might not be the best person to say on that because, um... We don't have the UCS. Well, it's not that. I just don't know how big the UCS Star Destroyer looks compared to the Light Cruiser. I mean, the Light Cruiser is definitely supposed to be much smaller. Um, and it will be smaller than the... I, I would say that the Light Cruiser should probably be a little bit smaller compared to the uh, Imperial Star Destroyer. But I think it's good enough. I yeah. think I think it would look nice. That's a, that's a go for it. It's a go for it. <laughs> Bianca's saying, I've seen the Brickumentary on Amazon Prime for free, and I okay. thought it was a nice documentary. So it is on there. I thought free. it was so nice. Like, it definitely got me hyped for Lego. Yeah. I, yeah, that but was back when I was like, mm, Lego's Lego. propaganda to get you yeah, it to works. feel okay to be an adult in Lego. There we go. <laughs> now we're back on brand for, like, the Lego-sponsored <laughs> tech stream. It worked, though. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's talk about that. And, like, when I say propaganda, it doesn't necessarily mean it's negative because it has a kind of negative connotation, but it's it's not. So when we're talking, and especially we're talking about, like, gears and stuff, and I've recently started getting back into gear work. So I've been trying to figure out how to make some lever, pulley, and gear systems. Um, but as a kid, I was indoctrinated into the robotics club at school. Indoctrinated. It was the Lego Robotics Club. And man, that was the coolest thing ever because I got to play with Lego and I got to like skip class to go play with Lego. And that's also where I learned to code. And now you're a programmer. And now I'm a programmer. That pays for Lego. Yeah, it was all part of Lego's plan to get me addicted to the Lego and then they taught me life skills so I can later get a job to buy more Lego. And a wife. Well, I didn't buy. I didn't buy the wife. He didn't buy. The I, <laughs> I buy Lego for the wife. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be clear about that. Way to make it weird, Ross. <laughs> That's what you said. <laughs> but yeah, so if anyone, whoever came up with that marketing at Lego, pat yourself on the back, because <laughs> Lego, I know you're watching. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got Panda Boy here. Hello. And Ted Garcia just subscribed as well. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. Yeah, be like Ted. Hit that subscribe button. You might be an accidental lurker. Don't, don't, don't be that though. Just hit subscribe. We appreciate it. Do it. Do it now. Oh my gosh. I'm doing, this is so much. And you have to do it four times. Mm -hmm. This is terrible. How are you doing it? Well, I'm, Are you going through the whole page or no, every no, step? No, no, no. I'm doing each one, each step. But I can't find any of the pieces. That's you're the hard part. Are you sure you have all the bags? Yeah, I have everything. I'm good. They're just, they're just hiding. Oh, they're scattered. Yeah, I they're just scattered. Because I'm almost done with this bag. Good for you. I'm slow. Dang. I am a young adult and I like Lego. Hey, join hey. the club. Hey, <laughs> What are we called? What is it? Like dinks? Oh uh, yeah, dual word? income, no kids, which means too much Lego. <laughs> yep, pretty much. That's what that translates to. And oh, do we have Liz here? Lego oh. is listening. What's going on, Liz? <laughs> hey, Liz, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. What are you up to tonight? Are you building anything cool? Or are you building anything Warm. lame? What? Oh. <laughs> It's like, it's like that joke, it's like, wow, we just met and it feels like we're already finishing each other's lunch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you for dealing with our weird jokes, y'all. We appreciate. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is too difficult. You got this. Is it three difficult? <laughs> I can't do this. Ah, okay. Lego. <laughs> no. Lego is propaganda. Get them hooked while they're young. <laughs> yeah. It works. You know? 
And also it's like, yeah, they have like adult sets now. They're doing good. They're doing literally everything right. It's so impressive. Yeah. I mean, they have the Lego Masters. Yeah. Um, Actually, like I've met people recently now that are like, um, you know, because, you know, we'll like tell our friends about it. And they're like, oh, wait, have you seen Lego Masters? <laughs> and we're like, yeah. yeah. And they're like, I don't have any sets, but I love watching Lego Masters. It's so cool. I want to get a set now. I'm like, it's working. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow Lego's like, really <laughs> doing a good job. <laughs> they, they know what they're doing. <laughs> crazy. I'm like, huh. Wow. Insane, man. Well, like even uh, you recently were at your friend's bridal shower or was it, what was it? It was a, I think um, it was a bridal shower, yeah. and she, Emily, got her the flower bouquet. Yes. And it was very risky. Didn't know if she'd like yeah, it. Yeah, it was. We really were like, we don't know what to get anybody anymore. But the flower bouquet Here's has been like the default gift. It is the perfect gift for getting someone who you don't know what they want. Um, and yeah, she was like actually really into it, and her fiance was super into it too. And so we were like, nice, cool. nice. Nailed it. Nice. <laughs> good. Yeah, that, that was good. That was good. That felt good. Yeah, I mean, it's just such a perfect gift. They're so cool. Oh, gosh. You got this. This is too difficult. Is it three difficult? Oh, wait, I already made that joke. I'm oh, sorry. my gosh. Um, oh, Brigham's Den. Hello, hello. I don't know what to start next. Elf House or Hogsmeade to get into the holiday spirit. I would... What do you think? I would personally pick um, Hogsmeade because it would be like dipping your toe into it. Unless you just want to go full out, then I'd go for the Elf um, Clubhouse. But I, w I would start with a Hogsmeade because it's a little bit of Harry Potter still than it is, you know, half Christmas, half Harry Potter. But I mean, can we talk about how like this year is the year, sorry, the year? The year. The year for starting your own winter village. Let's think about it. You could probably, I don't know if the gingerbread house is still available. But you can still get the Elf Clubhouse, you could get Santa's Visit, you could get the Reindeer Battle Pack, you can get um, Hogsmeade. What else is there? There's one more Christmas set that's like, oh, Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? Yeah. These are supposed to go in there, but I don't know how. <laughs> Help. Good day, finally caught you streaming. Awesome. Good day. Are you Australian? I don't know. Whenever I see Australians, they're like, good day. If you're not Australian, that's okay too. But it's great to have you here. Um, they yeah, the Lego profits doubled this year. Isn't that wild? Yeah. They've been doing so good. <laughs> I was like doubled? They've doubled, doubled. Like, I don't know, I feel like ten percent or like twenty percent growth is like, yeah. Good job, company. But they doubled profits. Doubled? It's oh my gosh. so funny too. Growing up, my mom was always just like really bitter. Um oh, you were missing a, a two by one there. That's like that. oh, but okay. my mom was all bitter because she was like, I just, I really think we should like buy stock in Lego. And I'm like, mom, it's you a private can't. company. <laughs> and then, uh, then my mom was like, how do you know about this? You're like 10. And I was like, but um, yeah. And it's like unfortunate. And I was like, man, I really wish I could have bought stock. I would have, as a kid, I would have like been pushing like stock in Lego. Wait, how do you do it? Oh, wait, I think, yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. We're good. Yeah, dude, if Lego went public, <laughs> I would spend all my money on their stuff. We already do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I already spend all my money but on But in, in a way, stuff. buying all these Lego sets is kind of like spending money on Lego stock, right? Because, like, Lego sets... It's their profit. Kind of our stock. <laughs> yeah. Their investment. Oh, my gosh. Pierce... Oh, Thank wow. Thank you so much for the super chat and your support. Um, that is so generous of you. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I re <laughs> wow. Um, okay. I've been a fan for a while now, and seeing daily LEGO content is always something I look forward to. Keep up the good work and never stop being you. Uh -huh. That is so sweet, Pierce. That means a lot. Oh, oh that is you. so sweet. We I really appreciate the support. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We're putting you into the Santa hat. I'm turning on the camera. Oh yeah. You want to see? Okay, here. Let me turn on the camera. Thank you so much, Pierce. Like seriously, that that's such yeah, a huge support for lot. the channel. It really does help us. Oh my goodness. I'm really happy you like it too. That's it means a lot. Yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you like our, our silly vlogs <laughs> and whatever <laughs> content you like. Um, mostly we put out vlogs, so I just assume people are here for that.
Aw, thank you so much, Pierce. It really does mean a lot. Thank you. Aw, I'm really happy you like the content. <laughs> that is so sweet. Can you see you? I wrote it. I wrote it extra big so you could see it. Oh, yeah, you can even see it from here. Look at that. Oh, Pierce, cool. There you are. E. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Thanks again. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> oh my goodness. That is so nice. Aw. Thanks for supporting them. Yes, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, that is so nice. What you, what's uh, Christian saying? Or you could get the ATAT -AT and put a Santa hat on it. We have thinking about that. I was actually taking inventory of our red slopes. Seeing if I can make a Santa's hat for it. Um, so that might be something I might try doing. We are getting better at mocks, guys. I don't want to, like, toot our own, our own horn, but we got some cool stuff. We're pretty good. <laughs> do you think we should, like, audition for Lego Masters this year? Uh, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> no, probably not. That it was way too stressful last time, and we didn't even get a call back. We were back. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they ghosted us. They were yeah. like, oh, you guys are bad at building. <laughs> I was like, do you know who we are? <laughs> At the time, we had like a, a thousand subscribers. Do you know who we are? <laughs> we have a thousand kind subscribers. kind of a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh hey, Michael gosh. Brooks is here. What's going on, oh, bud? Michael, what's going on? Nick and he's like, ah, ah! I don't know what he's yelling about. <laughs> 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 um, oh, man. Yeah, Pierce. Yes, fist bump. I love it. Christian him. And then he's saying, I see it. Thank you. Aw, love the vlogs and reviews. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes, that, that makes me happy to hear. I'm glad you like it. We, <laughs> it's we, for you. It's all for you. I mean, we really like to make content that, like, we enjoy making. You know, I guess that makes sense. Like, why would I make content I hate making? I mean, there's certain types of videos I like more than others, like the vlogs. If I could just put out vlogs every day, I would be so happy. Like, that's my favorite type of video. It's like, I don't know, I feel like I can just, like, be very, I don't know, like, candid, I guess. All right. Like, it's just so much more casual. It just feels like, you know, I'm in the car chatting with y'all. We're just hanging out, you know, and, like, that's the vibe I'm going for. And I just enjoy it. But most yeah. of, like, the city updates are really fun, too. The streams... I wouldn't do this so often if I didn't like it. <laughs> Let's just say that. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, is that a Dora build? Hello! Oh hey! I can't believe I'm able to catch a live and it's Star Wars! Star Wars! <laughs> Star Wars! What's going on, a Dora build? How hyped are you for those new mini dolls and micro dolls for, what is it, Enchanta? Enchanto. En en Enchanta? Is it? Encanta? No, I think it is Enchanto. Enchant Enchanto. I haven't heard it, so I don't know how it actually sounds. I guess I've only like, read it. You know, like Encanta. Anyways, those books and the builds, I'm just like. Oh yeah, the the build. There's so only good. one set set, like play set. Yeah. The rest of the little books. I wish there were more. Yeah. I like the books so much. I, They're so cute. I'm I'm excited for that set. It looks really colorful. That's what I've kind of learned with friends and especially elves, man. That was the oh, set. Oh, so good. It's like, wow, it is so fun building with color. Because, you know, you're talking to a Star Wars guy. I've been building Star Wars since 1999. Gray and pokey gray. since 99. <laughs> <laughs> Just gray. <laughs> yeah. I guess it was kind of cool. Like the, the Naboo gunship or the Naboo starfighter was sweet because it was yellow. And I was like, whoa, yellow bricks. <laughs> wow. Like if you go look... In my bins, my old parts, it's like all gray, dark gray, and black. Like, that's it. <laughs> um, oh, let's see. Oh, Robert. Hello, hello. Love the content. What kind of tables do you use for the city display and advice? So we use IKEA Linman tables with the Adol's legs. And it's like a common pair that you can get from the web, like from IKEA. It's like Linman slash Adol's. Um, and they're super cheap. It's like, I don't know, 30 bucks a table for like legs and table together. Um, and then for the things behind us, we use Ikea Billy bookcases yeah. and then Calyx for the middle thing. I think that's everything. Really, we just try to keep it simple. We just Calyx buy. is kind of hard to use. Like, so we turn the Calyx on its side and that's how we were able to display the Falcon. But um, I wouldn't recommend the Calyx as much. I'd recommend the, the Billy bookcases are the standard I think most people use. Yeah, that's that's pretty And standard. then Linman tables are also the standard for cities. Yep. But just be weary, they bow in the middle, so you kind of have to place your tables in certain ways to, to yeah. that, or you can get more legs, I guess. Very true. 
Um, oh, Pierce is saying, I love the city builds, and they're always fun to see the updates. I remember trying to build LEGO cities with my brother, and of course failed every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tedious. Like, it's so easy to just be like, I quit, this is too hard. Yeah. And like, that's me a lot of nights. Like, Ross is like, let's go do it. I'm like, okay, okay. And we get in there, and I'm like, nah. I'm overwhelmed, I can't do this. Like, it's, <laughs> it's just so much. Yeah, there's a lot. But, yeah, like... Sometimes we just put on a movie and we're like, okay, we need to get something done in here. Like, we converted our master bedroom to a Lego city. We, we kind of need to, like, <laughs> make progress. And that, that usually does the trick. It's like, okay, okay. Like, as long as we do something little each time we're in there, then it's worth it. And it's, it's like, kind of, I don't know, frustrating sometimes when you're working on the city and you have to just, like, redo it, you know? Like, I'll be working on rock work and it's my first time doing rock work and I'll do it and then I hate it. It's like... Now I have to redo it, and I just spent like three hours working on this. It's part but of the then game. the second time, it's so much faster. So it's just part of it. Eh. Just yeah, the struggles of trying to build mocks in a Lego city, I guess. Um, I've been building Marvel sets since 2016. Oh, awesome! Disney Mini Cardi, very very cool. That was a good year. I think that was Civil War. Oh, was it? Uh, no, that was 2014, maybe. No, wait. 16. That no, that was Civil War. Yeah, that was those those were good sets. Yeah. The sets with color look so much better on display. Yeah. But, yeah, exactly. Like, you know, the, the mini sets, the question mark block, like even the Adidas shoe, I left it with Oh, you can't even see it. <laughs> um, I left it with the shoe box under it just to add that color, you know, it's like kind of down there behind Ross. I just I just like it better. I think it's I don't know, that little pop of color. I really like it. Ooh, Beatus, hello. I bought the Parisian restaurant today on eBay. Ooh. Oh, cool. Man, modulars are like my favorite. I cannot wait for the 2022 modular. I have no idea what it's gonna be, but it always comes out January 1st every year. So I am just, I'm very excited. Whatever it is, I'm like gonna get it. I cannot wait. It's gonna look so cool, hopefully. I went to a Lego con. Somebody had an elves display. Oh, cool. But modded Barracuda Bay to be purple. Oh, oh that's cool. cool. That's so neat. I love how like creative people are with Lego at those conferences. It's just so cool. People have so many cool ideas. How much is the Lego AT18 US dollars? I'm going to buy one for my collection. It's 800 US dollars. Um, yeah, 800. And it'll come out November 26th. So you have a few weeks at least like to mentally prepare for that. It's a very, very pricey set for sure. Um, weren't you guys originally Lego stop motion YouTubers? He was. I was. So, in days of old. <laughs> the like origin story of this channel is it was started in 2008. So like we didn't know each other. He started it doing like Lego Star Wars stop motion and did that for like three or four years. He went to college and like stopped posting because you need money and space to make content about Lego usually. And then um, he met me and I, I don't know, it was like 2020, I was home all the time. He was like, do you want to reboot the channel? And I was like, you have a channel? What? <laughs> <laughs> and um, what? <laughs> so yeah, now we're here. So yeah, we rebooted an older channel. Um, I don't know, I mean, I guess like, at this point, it wouldn't have mattered. And like when we started, it was almost like starting from zero. We really had, we had what, 2000 subscribers, but it was 10 years since the last video. Nobody was still around. Like we, we actually were... lost subscribers a lot. Oh yeah, we lost subscribers every time we uploaded because yeah. yeah, they just like weren't here for that kind of content. It was, it was actually kind of sad. It's like, yikes. <laughs> like you, yeah, there yeah, were you days we had YouTube negative channel. subscribers. We're like, oh. Right? Like you start posting, you're like putting yourself out there, making content, and like you lose 50 subscribers. And you're like, wow, <laughs> was it really that bad though? <laughs> and like looking back, it was, but like, ouch, that was kind of painful, you know? Um, oh, speaking of subscribers, thank you so much, Charles, for subscribing. That is awesome. Thank you so much for being here, for helping us out, subscribing. We really appreciate it. Which by the way, y'all, be like Charles Oliver. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We really do appreciate it. Hang out with us for a while. So for those of y'all just joining, make sure to leave a like. Um, but also what I'm working on is the legs. So these are the little hooves of the AT-AT. Oh, there they are. Cool. 
and uh, I have to do the same thing four times, so it's it's great. All these pieces here, I'm just like doing the same thing over and over and over. So it's going, you know. But we knew what we were getting into with this one. We knew, yeah. We we, we had a pretty good idea. This is the third ATAT -AT I've built now. Oh my god. Same story every time. Oh, greetings from the UK. Hello, hello. Great to have you here. Welcome. Awesome. Howdy from Austin, Texas. Um, ooh, Devin's saying, did you buy any BrickLink designer sets? I got the Lego Store Modular. We didn't. That was the only one we were thinking about, but yeah, we ended up deciding not to. Yeah, that one looked really cool, though. Um, Bullcraft saying, awesome. I'm enjoying the channel. Keep up the great stuff. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. And Christian says, checking out the old videos, even if it's just to read the comments, it's worth <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah, you'll see some weirdly familiar faces in some of those old videos. Yeah. Like the comments. You'll see uh, Solid Brick Studios and I, he used to comment pretty often. I was around before David was. And that was back when he was a Lego boy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and then I think there's a few too where you can see like Michael MGF. Yeah. Um, in there. And yeah, it's kind of like funny. You know, it's kind of. So I think, because. Like, Ross, I guess, like, him and David were, like, familiar with each other back then. David doesn't remember this. No, he but doesn't. But Ross remembers this. I sure do. And I'm like, so were you guys actually friends? I no, don't know. No, we weren't, like, friends. We just knew each other. We chatted every now and then. Back when you, this is so long ago that YouTube actually had its own uh, direct messaging. Oh, really? Wow. Twice, actually. It's had it twice, but this is the first time it had it. Okay. And so, yeah, like, um, I guess David, like, was subscribed to, like, Ross's old channel, and then when we rebooted, David was probably like, why probably, am I subscribed? He unsubscribed and then resubscribed <laughs> later on. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Because he commented way back. Like right when he started. Yeah, and he was like, hey, just so you know, like you should probably get a better mic. Like he said it nicer, like, yeah. you know, hey, here's some feedback. Your like, audio sucks. Great video, really good points, but like, you know, maybe get a better mic. Here's some suggestions. And I was like, okay, cool, thanks. And now we actually have that mic. So thank you, David. <laughs> but yeah, it's just kind of like just funny like looking back then because right. I'm pretty sure he was like why am I subscribed yeah, well, our content was not good <laughs> don't go watch those old videos the old old stop-motion stuff is funny <laughs> but I wouldn't I wouldn't don't watch old emissoras anything a year ago <laughs> yeah don't do it just and I guess like it's worth it for the comments it's worth it to just see like how bad the quality was and then you can appreciate that it's you know somewhat decent now but besides that yeah don't, don't, don't do it. It's not worth your time. Man, these legs are thick. <laughs> yeah. Um, ooh, hello, nice guy. What's up? Hello, hello. So are y'all a couple? <laughs> yep. We're a couple of Lego enthusiasts. And we're married. We're married. Yeah, we're also <laughs> married. <laughs> yeah, I was like, are, are you gonna say it? <laughs> We're also married. <laughs> this is my husband, Ross. Hi, I'm your husband, Ross. Yeah. Dude, I like your walker shirt. It looks awesome. Thanks, dude. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be Ross's and then I stole it from him. It was, yeah, it's mine now. <laughs> Do you have any Jurassic World sets? Um, and if Lego were to make a buildable Brachiosaurus like they did for the T-Rex, would you buy it? I still want to buy the T-Rex one. I, I need to actually email them back. Um, but yeah, I really need to like get that T-Rex set because it's so cool. I mean, it's on brand for Amosaurus. Hello, like dinosaurs. It works. Rawr. Yeah, so we need to get that ASAP. I think it looks so cool. Hi, if you could choose between the Mickey Mouse art mosaic and buildable figures, what set would you choose? Loving the live build, love your blogs. Aw, thank you, Diego. Okay, so between the art mosaic and the buildable figures. I go buildable figures. Yeah, I would go buildable figures too. I mean, the art, like, unless if you just have no space to, like, put something, then the art, but, like, as long as you have any sort of room, get the buildable figures. And also, Bricky Brit, hello. I saw you earlier and I was like, oh, I need to say hi to her, and I didn't, but I was thinking it. Hello, Brittany, it's great to have you. Um, yeah, I guess you can only catch her streams, like, late at night, so I'm glad we're doing this. Um, I have so many men's t-shirts because they only make Star Wars in men's. Dude, all my t-shirts <laughs> are from the men's section at Target. <laughs> like, all of my, like, my Pizza Planet shirt, anything Marvel, anything Star Wars. 
uh, Looney Tunes, anything graphic tea is from the men's section at Target. And it's like, I, I always check the women's first because I'm like, okay, like what shirts do they have over here? And it's always like, I don't know, I don't like the, the women's shirts cuts. I just, I don't know, I, I kind of like a baggy. They just feel better. And then I can sleep in them too. So that's, there's that. But yeah, I, I have bad luck finding like women's shirts at Target, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not doing it right. But yeah, all my shirts are like from the guy section. You need to mod the AT. AT with the red nose and antlers. Oh yeah, we were talking about that before. That's <laughs> amazing. I love that. Weird. Fun for new AT, -AT shirt for Raw. <laughs> oh, Liz. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Liz. <laughs> yeah, you want me to do That is incredible. One. Yeah, Raw's needs. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. Appreciate it. Oh my it. gosh, that is hilarious. A fun for the new AT, AT shirt. Yeah, I stole his, so I guess you do need a new one. We should have thought about that before we like oh, got wow. Amazing. Perfect, okay. Liz, there you are. Oh wait, you could have seen it, couldn't you? There we go. There you are, Liz. The L is a slightly different color because I used the darker color. Because when I fill this out, I'm gonna like make some of it a little bit darker for, for gradient and I don't know. I felt like it would look better that way. The, the picture I looked up online had darker spots on it, so that's why I wanted to do that. Um, but thank you again, Liz. That is that is great. I love it. Um, oh, Diego's like, thanks for the response. You rock. You rock. You're awesome, Diego. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. Did you guys get the Republic gunship? We did. We got that on release day, August 1st. Very stressful day. Yeah, that was a nightmare. <laughs> would not do again but it was worth it 100 percent it's a good set and we also did that one on a bunch of live streams too it was pretty fun oh let's see lego bear hello hello oh is that kevin what's going on i'm bored toys how are you i hope you're good um that t-rex is totally worthwhile that's what yeah i want that so bad very rare to get any star wars in the women's section yeah very, or it's like cutesy, kind of like Baby Yoda. You know what? Recently, so I was like, um, I guess it was like a mutual friend and like we, we like met up for coffee and like she was saying um, she loves Baby Yoda. She's obsessed with Baby Yoda. Um, oh, Bricky Brit, thank you so much. <laughs> um, I'll get on board with the fun. Daniel <laughs> Ross, a new shirt. Aww. He needs an AT. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thanks, Brittany. <laughs> you poor thing. I know. You can cheat me. <laughs> I just, all my shirts are just from Costco. Yeah. I've like reached that part of adulthood. <laughs> I love that. Aw, thank you so much, Appreciate Brittany. It. That is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. We need to stream later more often. This is fun. Right, this is fun. It's like so much more chill. Like, I'm loving this. Bricky Brit, there you are. You're like, and it's it's shoulder. You're, you're on its shoulder. Aww. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, like, with, um, I, I mean, yeah, so Baby Yoda, like, she was obsessed with Baby Yoda. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. And, like, I pulled up, like, a picture of, like, my Baby Yoda set. Or maybe it was a Zoom call or something. Yeah, you brought I think it. I guess it was a Zoom call. Yeah, I don't remember. Your, uh... But I was like, oh, hold on one second. I grabbed my, like, Baby Yoda Lego set. And I was like, oh, look, like, Baby Yoda, this is cool, too. And she was like, ew, but that's Lego. <laughs> I was like, ouch. Okay. I guess we're not going to be friends. It's fine. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like, oh, look at this cool thing I literally own. Ew. Ew that's Lego. Lego. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, okay. Yikes. So yeah, that happened. Anyways, this is chill and fun. Thanks, Dylan. I'm glad. Yeah, this is so cool. Man, we never streamed this late, but like, man, we have 135 in chat. This ah. is wild. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> We're like, yeah, we could probably hang out with like 30 people. Or yeah, something. it's like, yeah, let's be chill. Like, come by if you can, you know, if not, cool, whatever. Yeah, there's like a bunch of people here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Dang. Subscribe if you're new, by the way. I'm sure there's like new people here. Make sure to subscribe, hang out with us, join the membership. Aw, yeah, Ian, thank you. Um, Ian has joined oh, Source Nation. He knew. Amazing. We're on the same. Appreciate it, Ian. Brain, brain, brain wave. 
Thank you so much, Ian. So yeah, Ian, um, Discord link. I'll make you a sticker. And there's also access to extra vlogs if if you want to just see that. Also, our Lego Masters audition. Oh, yeah. So that's there. If you just feel like wasting 20 minutes of your life, check it out. The Lego Masters audition. It's pretty cringy. It's so cringy. <laughs> like, and we did like a reaction to our like tapes that we sent in for it. We tried to figure out the least cringy way we could publish it. <laughs> yeah, we were like, okay, if we just show them the tapes, they'll be like, what am I watching? But... You know, if we react to it and like acknowledge the cringe, I feel like it's less cringe. That was our reasoning. But yeah, there you are, Ian. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's great to have you here. Welcome to Star Nation. And hang out with us on Discord. Introduce yourself. Show us your cool Lego builds and make some friends. <laughs> hey, can you turn on the camera real quick? I want oh, to yeah. show, uh, show what I've been working this on. This is the camera. Oh, turn off the camera? Turn off this one, yeah. Oh, okay. The top cam. All oh, right, yeah. guys. So here is two legs of the AT-AT, -AT, so I guess that technically just makes it an AT. Um, <laughs> but check it out. We built the best part of the set already, the screwdriver. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look at that. The all best right. part. And look, so all it is, it, it was so simple. If you guys were here like maybe an hour ago when I was starting it, all it is is just a worm gear. And you just spin the worm gear and look at that. Look at it go. Look at it go. Oh, that's actually so cool. <laughs> the sound effects make it for sure. Keep doing them. Amazing. Subscribe, people. I want to like motorize it. Wouldn't that be cool to just stick a motor in there? And I mean, would it like fall over? Or, like, would it walk? Or would it be so? Different? I guess the question is, how hard would it be to actually rig it to where it can be, uh, like, put some mind storms in it? Like, oh, that would be cool. Could you actually do that? Because yeah, like if you can. You can program all the motors to work a certain way. Like you can get it to walk. Yeah. It would just be. It would look really ugly because you'd have all these big wires and motors sticking in weird spots. Right. Um, but it's possible. Yeah. That's so cool. I'm gonna get down with this. Yeah, look at that's this. So neat. Dang. Yeah, we need to like motorize that. I think that'd be so cool. We should work on that. It'd Ross be... was like watching videos about gears earlier, oh, and yeah. I was like. Cool. I've been trying to learn. Especially like super nerdy people. Yeah, now. I've been trying to relearn. I used to know all this stuff when I was a kid. Believe it or not, now I don't know how to how to. I have I have like a set that it's essentially it's like using one of these like just Technic beam pieces, and I need to do this with it. I need to somehow use a motor to make it teeter, and you'd be surprised how hard it is to just. I won't need it need it to go up and down, up and down, and that's it. And I'm like, man. So, like it works with my hand it does what I need it to do like if I flick it on and off but I'm like how do I how do I motorize it right I don't even know how to google it I was like do I is it a <laughs> lever is it a switch I don't know anyways in other news the, should I go for the next bag yeah do it I'm All still right. going the disco ball is just having a great time uh, oh there it went <laughs> there it goes okay cool good good <laughs> Amazing. Two got two streams in one day. Fantastic. Yes, Johnny. We're we're going. You know, we were like, you know what? We have more to do. Why not just hang out with y'all? You know, I feel like, I don't know. I like it. We're having a good time. So and also we never really get to stream that late at night. So just mixing it up is kind of fun. Um, Greg Dillon, thank you so much for your support. Are you gonna do a review on this? Yes. Yes. We will. We will be reviewing it. Um and probably doing some other content on it as well. Just like, I don't know. I want to take some fun pictures with it, like taking it for a walk. Yeah, I pictures put a like leash next on to Ladybird. Ladybird could take it for a walk. <laughs> Ladybird could take it for a walk. And then the AT, -AT can take Ladybird for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> like, I wish I was good at toy photography. Because then I could, like, set up, like, crazy scenes. Man, yeah, that'd be cool. But yeah, we definitely have reviews and all sorts of stuff planned <laughs> once it's built. Um, it's been a lot of fun building it though. Like I love kind of like doing the live streams with it just cause it is basically Lego sends it as something, it's, it's a review offer, but review is very much like, what does that mean to your community? Like if you're on Twitch, a review isn't a video. If you're on Instagram, a review isn't a video. So like, I don't know. Yeah, like, it's open to. Yeah, it's open to whatever that means for you and your community. So that's why we do streams, as well as like usually reviews as well. But yeah, and then we also have a new member, Pierce. 
Oh, welcome, Pierce. We have 191 members now. 191. That's so many people. That's a lot. Oh my gosh. Um, Pierce, thank you so much for joining the membership. Okay, okay, let's get to. Oh. Sorry. You, need, you, need, you are so okay. loud. Okay, we're good. Sorry, I had to. Oh had my to get gosh. Back. Okay, there it is. Um, so Ian, there you are. There's Greg, and then Pierce. Let's get you on here. Oh my gosh. So awesome. Okay. Yeah, and thank you again so much for your support earlier, Pierce. Yeah, that really was so sweet. It. Oh my goodness. Such a big help to the channel. It helps us keep doing these things, so thank you. Um, so yeah, Discord link, Pierce, hang out with us. Tell us all about your crazy Lego hobby, whatever you do with Lego, show it off. Um, and yeah, I'll be starting on stickers soon for our next city update. Oh, yeah. And then Greg, thank you so much for another super chat. That is oh, so thanks. Sweet. By the way, hello from outside of Beaumont. Oh, Texas. cool. Texas. Oh, another on. Texan. Howdy. We're in Austin. That is so nice. Aww. There we go. Oh, so there y'all are. Oh, can you see that? I think so. Oh, there it is. Pierce, Greg. Nice. Nailed it. <laughs> Thanks for the support, guys. Yeah, thank you all so much. That's awesome. Yeah, we um, yeah, we're in Austin, so Texas still. Texas is huge, but <laughs> yeah, to get to Dallas, it was a three-hour drive, and we never left the state. Right. To get to El Paso, it's a nine or ten-hour drive. It's still not leaving the state. <laughs> Pierce is saying, like, I thought I was member this whole time. <laughs> well, now you are. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Um, hola from Yamil. Hello, hello. Um, if you don't mind, please keep the chat to English, but it is really great to have you here. And new subscriber, Steve. Hello, hello. Um, heard mentioned motorizing the ATAT. -AT. There's a Mindstorm ATAT. -AT. It's in there, my basement. There is. That's the uh, 2007 one. That and so I cool. wish I had that one because I had the 2008 one. And my mom's like, you're not getting another one. And I was like, that's, that's fair. <laughs> oh my god. Because I like really begged to get that first one and then they re released it but with a motor in it. No. And then in my head I was like, well, if they re released it with the motor in it, I'm sure they'll re release it with the motor again. <clears throat> Never. Man. Um, from El Paso, Texas, from Houston. Man, hello. Man, we have so many more like. U.S. people during these late <laughs> streams. Yeah, we normally have like the midday stream, so everyone's yeah. at school or work. All right, this is nice. Hello, all you Texans and everyone else. Alaska, Scotland. It's the Texas so of the cool. North. South Carolina, hello. Oh, man. Scotland, that's crazy. Scotland, what are you doing up? <laughs> Why are you awake? From <laughs> Minnesota. Um, oh, Discord link said it expired. Um, really? Let's see. Where did you join? You resource nation. If you see one, if you can look at the Discord link for Scooby Snacks, or is it Scooby Snacks? Yeah, that one should still work. Um, and Pierce, I think same for you. If you can see it on Scooby Snacks, that's where you should see it. Otherwise, um, find me on Instagram and I can message you the Discord link or like update it later. Um, but yeah, either of those, yeah, try try Scooby Snacks. Um, yeah, I need to go update it. I think I, I set it for like six months or something. Um, my bad, I'm so sorry. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Sometimes those things happen. Oh, are we at the six month? month? I think so. Wow, that happened quick. Right? Yeah, I think it's expired. But yeah, let, um, find me on Instagram and like shoot me a message and I can send you the link there. If it doesn't work on the Scooby's next one. Um, from South Korea. Oh, Hello. Cool. Man, it's so cool. I love so how like international this hobby is. Isn't that so neat? I love that. Yeah, that's just like such a cool thing. I'm also from Houston. <laughs> Hello there, General Kenobi. Uh, Oregon, Holland. Why are y'all awake? <laughs> Isn't it like super late? <laughs> or is it is it super early? <laughs> Ooh, Satan is saying, where's the join button? It's missing for me. If you're on iPhone or iPad, you won't see it. Yeah, because it's Google versus Apple. They don't get along. Yeah, they don't they don't get along. So if you see the link up in chat, that should do it for you. Um, or I would recommend joining from desktop. Like it's it's just easier there. It's annoying. Scooby Snacks works. Cool. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, thank you, Ian, for letting me know. And I will go and try to update that one so that doesn't happen again. That is a pain. I'm so sorry. 
Indiana here. Awesome. This is where the fun begins. People are just like <laughs> quoting stuff. Amazing. Yay, Star Wars. Star Wars. Man. Zoinks. Like zoinks. Meet up, y'all. I think a meetup would be really fun. Like, I'd be down to do that. Like, I know there's Brick Rodeo. I think that's actually happening in Austin next year. Mm. I think that would be really fun. Yeah. Like, a meetup there and then, like, I don't know. Do something, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how meetups work. <laughs> Hi from the UK, what's your current favorite set? Mystery Machine and Disney Castle will always be my favorite sets. I love them so much. Um, from New Jersey, so cool. Wisconsin, man, everyone's from everywhere. This is wild. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're in Austin. Crazy how that works. <laughs> everyone's from everywhere. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh my gosh. A Texas meetup. That would be super fun though. Like I would be down. I think that'd be fun. Um, Ooh, disco ball is going. Um, oh my gosh, David! Thank you so much for the $20. Oh, thanks, David. New subscriber. Got back into Lego during COVID, recently building the UCS Falcon, and will be buying the AT-80. Awesome. Ooh. Have you thought about going to Boca uh, Chicha, Texas, to see Starbase and some real rocket ships? You know, I've heard about it. Is. It's kind of like... Uh, is, uh, I think it's where the NASA does it. I can't remember. It's not where um, SpaceX does it. Okay. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think wrong. that'd be cool. But I, I've seen some cool pictures like on Reddit of it. And it looks pretty sweet. Oh, that's neat. But yeah, the AT. Um, that's or, <clears throat> sorry. So like what you're saying, David, about uh, joining rejoining Lego during COVID is so crazy. How many of us are like that? Um, yeah, I mean, I I was like a very casual fan at the beginning of 2020. And then honestly, like, it's kind of weird, but like, I think seeing Lego Masters, that got me more into Lego. It really did, yeah. Like, around that point, I was like, oh, this is cool. I mean, we were so into, and especially season one, we were super into that show. David. Awesome. There you are. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much for the support. Yeah, and then, um, really just ran up from there. Like, I was home all the time. And so I was like, what do I do? I can't go anywhere. So yeah, I found Lego. It's been incredible. And I feel like that's the case with so many people, you know, mm. like yourself. And um, then uh, last thing, David, is uh, um, if you like building the Falcon, then you're gonna love building this one because personally, I didn't like building the Falcon that much. Um, but this set is a lot more fun to build. And I think it's because it has moving parts involved. And anytime you're making moving parts in a set, it's just so satisfying in the end. Can you get this down all the way for me? Some of these like won't click all the way, I think. Um, aw, Ikuko, thank you for subscribing. Y'all are awesome. Yeah, if you're in chat and you're lurking, hanging out, you're not subscribed, you might be an accidental lurker. You might think you're subscribed, but you're not. Hit that subscribe button, help us out. Really do appreciate it. Have you guys seen Australian Lego Masters? We haven't, but I've heard it so much. Yeah, I heard that's, it's, it's really good. like they focus a lot more on the Lego. Yeah. Um, and I would like to see it. And I think we have access to it, too. We just oh, do we? haven't watched it. I think it's oh, on Hulu. Nice. I didn't realize that. Cool. Yeah, I definitely want to watch it. Because, um, yeah, like I really like watching LEGO Masters. But, yeah, like I wasn't as impressed this time, I think. The builds um, were great this time this, the, on the US one. I yeah. think they were amazing builds. But the uh, it just... There was like no drama. I really wanted some drama. <laughs> I know, like as a Lego fan, I should have been there for the Lego, but there was zero drama. Yeah, Everyone as, was as best Americans. Friends. We were like, ah, we kind of want our trash <laughs> reality TV. Like and I need some there drama, was, there was something. <laughs> nothing going there on. There was no drama. Everyone was so nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which makes sense. I'm like, that's a pretty good representation of this community. Everyone, like, even mm -hmm. like at the end, it was like three teams left, and. Will, Will Arnett went up to this team and he was like, okay, so do you guys want to trash talk another team? Wouldn't that be fun? Why don't we do that? And they were like, we don't do that. We only give compliments. <laughs> and Will was like, well, will you yell them? Yell the compliments. And then they were like, your builds are really good. Yeah. <laughs> that was the trash talk. That was legit. That, that was what happened. I'm not making this up. <laughs> hey, hey, other team. Keep it up. <laughs> Good job. Like that's <laughs> that is what happened. You guys are great. 
Oh I like gosh. how we did that without spoiling anything about it. That was good. We did good. We did a good job. <laughs> it was just so funny. They were all so nice. <laughs> Dang. Okay. Um, Emily wants all Technic for Christmas. Oh, Do yeah. I? So that's like her new thing. She discovered by building this set that... I like Technic now. Technic is great. It is just unforgiving. I thought it was scary. I wasn't really into it. And well, it is scary when you mess up. Yeah, so my favorite, and I always make fun of it, is the uh, when her and Holly did a stream together, <laughs> like, months ago. Yeah. They, they were building the X-Wing set together. And, you know, it's all, hint. it's like a weird scissory thing. It's and it's all Technic in the back of it. And, like, Emily was missed everything by one pen, so, like, everything was pushed over one. And it's hard, like you have to get all the pins out and put them all back in the right spots, and it's and then I couldn't get the pins. You have to like disassemble everything just to fix one part, and uh, so she just like faked it, and she was like, uh, "It's done." Yeah, and the look, screen. I made the X wing, and, and then uh, Holly's like, "Oh, what do you think? Like, how does it look?" And it's she's so like, good. It's good. It's good. It's working. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I think I think Holly caught on. <laughs> it was like okay, in the stream. I, I won't I won't pester. <laughs> and then like I came in after the stream ended and I fixed it for her. <laughs> it was uh, like my first like I guess like it, it wasn't my first stream, but it was my first stream like with any with people watching. Because like before <laughs> that, I had maybe like twenty or thirty watching, and even then I was like, oh my gosh, like don't mess up. This is intimidating. And on her stream, I think there were like. 180, 200 yeah, watching. Yeah, a lot of people watching. There were so many people there. And I was like... Yeah, you're so nervous. Like, I was still super small, you know, and, like, some of the bigger YouTubers were in chat, and I was like, ah, don't mess up. <laughs> Holly was a good sport about it. <laughs> Claire's here like, OMG, I'm like... <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm I'm still so it's like better to laugh about it you know because you still can still watch favorite. them. I still bring They're up still all the up. Time. You can still watch that video. Like, uh, that was hilarious. I was so embarrassed. I was not happy at all. <laughs> like oh my gosh. It was a great time though. It was like my first time meeting Holly. It was so fun. But yeah, I was like oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> Help. <laughs> Yeah. Man, that was so funny. I was laughing so hard. I was like stressed out because I was watching the other room and I was like, no, 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 you put it in the wrong. <laughs> like, uh, good times. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, nice guy said, I just subscribed. This is my first time I've watched you guys. Aww. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy the video, at least like enough to subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, which by the way, just saying, if you um, are new here and you haven't subscribed, you're a lurker, hang out, hit that subscribe button, come chill with us for a while. The nice part is you can always change your mind. Like if you're like, nah, this really isn't for me, like you can, you can leave. Like no one's, le no one's making you stay here, but like hit subscribe, hang out. But we're making you But we're making subscribe. you hit subscribe right now. <laughs> Do it. I know, I know what it's like on your side, because before I did YouTube, it would always be like, oh, all these people were like, like right before the video starts, it's like, also I want to take a moment, if you could please hit like and subscribe, and you're like, ah, oh, this is annoying, <laughs> but then when you're on the other side of it, you're like, you realize that how important engagement is, and you're like, oh, oh. Like, like, <laughs> please, comment, please something. <laughs> subscribe. Honestly, sometimes I'm like, I wish people would just comment and be like, how's your day? You good? It's like... Yeah, just engage. Actually, weirdly, the, the one that helps the most, I've heard, is sharing. If, oh, really? Yeah, if you share on other platforms, it, that's the one that really oh. helps bring it up. Okay, okay. I think you can kind of see that in, like, Instagram, like, the reels or the memes. Oh, yeah, sharing really helps on there. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's definitely a thing. Like, if you make a reel on Instagram that's, like, relatable, it's like, oh... I don't like I feel like some of like some of mine that do really well are ones where I just like most of the comments are just people tagging other people and they're like, Look at this, oh that's oh, yeah. you. That's you. Yeah. And I'm like, What? <laughs> yeah, just everybody tagging. I'm like, who are you people? <laughs> it's like that SpongeBob episode when Patrick comes home <laughs> and all the every, all the town is hiding under his rock. Who are you people? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ooh, Claire saying, I did the same X-Wing for my first live stream. Oh, right, That's right, right, right. right. I remember that. I messed it up too and just redid it on camera about six times. No shame. The difference was I couldn't get the pieces out. So yeah. I was just like, does Ross come in and help me like flailing. live? 
or do I just fake it? And I decided to fake it. I thought that was the safer option. Looking back, what should you have done? I think that was the right call. That was I the faked right call, it. Faking or it. I should have been honest. <laughs> well, that's what I asked. <laughs> should you have been honest or should you have faked it? Oh, uh, was that the question? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I forgot the question. <laughs> uh. <laughs> we are just having a good time, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to our channel. We're hanging out. How's your oh. evening? It's going great, Lego Bear. It's For people who, so who might be new, just to show, um, here's the screwdriver piece. And because it's just fun. This oh, is, wait, this you're, is, you're hidden. Well, you can't see the leg. You can't see anything. There you go. And then you stick it in there and you just twist it. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty cool. You can't really see it that well, but like you Claire, what do you think of that? <laughs> it's a worm gear. Wow. Um, oh. The stress sweats. I, I feel that. Yeah. Um, ben just subscribed asking how much you think your Lego collection is worth. I don't even want to think about it's it. It's too much. Like someone asked the other day and I was like, okay, let's like look behind me. That's what Claire was telling me is like, I should just get that. What's the bricks? Is it brick set or brick something? The I one where you... Uh, brick set, right? Yeah, I think so. Where you can like catalog every set you have, and I'm like, you know, maybe I should just do that. But like, I kind of don't want to. It seems like it'd be a stressful thing. Yeah, probably. Probably would be stressful. But at least then we would know. And yeah, then when someone asks us that, we could be like, an inventory of eight dollars. Eight dollars. <laughs> uh, Ranger, what's going on? Welcome. We got Trung in the house. Hello. When will you stream tomorrow? I'm not sure yet. Probably like one ish. Something like that, probably Central like, US time. Yeah, Central US time, like 1 p.m. Um, something like that, like, we'll see. Maybe we will um, do like two streams tomorrow. I don't know, but we'll see. Have you heard of MNR? Yeah, we've heard of MNR. <laughs> Who? <laughs> Who? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> I've made it to the Discord, it still works, yay! Hooray. I'm glad you made it, Pierce. Awesome, awesome. Good, 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 yay. That makes me happy. Yeah, we'll check on that tonight. I don't think I did it right. Uh oh, and it's Technic. No, but I can do it. You just pull like hard enough, and it just comes apart. How to stress Ross out? I was like, what's the worst thing I could say right now? Okay, Claire's answering. She loves the screwdriver application, and Brickset is the name of the app and make sure homeowner insurance has it covered. I think we did check that. Um, it's like confusing because it's it, it just says like collectibles and I was like, I don't think you guys understand how many collectibles we have, <laughs> but. Fair. Dang. Ooh, let's see. Who is Mandar? <laughs> Mandar. Mandar. <laughs> Yeah, who is that? I've never heard of them. Do you guys play video games? He plays a lot of video games. I play I a lot of I was one a gamer. video game. I like wish I was into it. I feel like I've tried. I bought her like all the Lego games because they were on sale, and she like played a level and a quarter with me, and that was it. That's to be all. fair, now I got nothing. But <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what can I make up on this? Yeah, like how is this my fault? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, door build. It's great to have you here still. Hi, Ruth. How are you, my friend? Oh, people are chatting back and forth. I love that. I love when that happens. Oh, yay. Okay, there we go. It's like a snake. Ooh. Oh, snake. Now do it three more times. Why? Don't you have to do it four times? What? Why do I have to keep doing it? For all four. Legs. Oh, I thought you meant like keep making it oh, dance. I oh. was like, why? <laughs> Wait, I've, oh gosh. <laughs> oh, this took me like 10 minutes. You get better, you get faster every time. Mm -hmm. I don't think you understand how Technic works. What do you, I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> We need to do these late streams more often. I'm just, just having a great fun. time. This is so great. Like, I feel like, yeah, it's just so much more chill. Thanks for hanging out with us, for dealing with our nonsense. You guys are the best. You guys, oh yeah, video games, you already answered that. 
Oh yeah, Overwatch. I play a lot of Overwatch. I hate the game. <laughs> nice guy said, OMG, I just realized he's wearing a dog mom hat. Yep. <laughs> That's like kind of his thing. It's kind of like a thing on this channel. He's the dog mom. Like there's emojis. I don't know if members, I see, let's see, Claire, Lickety Bricker members. If you want to like throw those dog mom emojis in the chat. Um, yeah, there's like some dog mom emojis for members. It's 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 just a thing. Dog mom. It's kind of a thing. MGH, hi, I'm from Vietnam. So oh, cool. Oh, cool. Dang. Hello. Welcome, welcome. We are in Austin, Texas. So howdy. <laughs> it's great to have you here. This is really fun to watch. Aw, J Bob. I'm glad you are enjoying it. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, this is like a totally different vibe. We were kind of like, oh gosh, we're exhausted. Like, should we stream again? Like, yeah, let's do it. Like, why not? We're in the mood. Let's you do know, it. the worst part is, is every time we do a late night stream, it's always so much more fun. We always right? have a good time. It's so much fun. <laughs> and we just and then we're always it. like, nah, we won't do that ever again. This is the best. <laughs> this is so much. It's fun. not even a late stream. I mean, we started at six p.m. It's like seven <laughs> thirty. <7:30. laughs> It's like late for YouTube, I feel like. Oh my gosh, you can get your own dog mom hat too. Yeah, we do actually have dog mom hats in my merch store. I wear them all the time. Yeah, he loves his dog mom hats. I need so, to get a dog mom beanie soon. Actually, yeah, you're right. Let's get into, I should get on that. It's in Texas, so we have like three, three or four days of winter coming up. <laughs> and then He has to be prepared for those three or four days, definitely. I get very cold. No. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of technique in here. My sister is a dog mom. Her dog's name is Beeb. <laughs> <laughs> is it like Justin Bieber? Yeah, I was Bieber? guessing it's like a Justin Bieber thing. <laughs> That's great. I love that. Dog mom visor for Florida trips. That is a fantastic. I got really excited. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like visors though. I mean, my mom likes visors. Oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> my mom would wear one. I, I mostly wear the hat to keep the sun off my balding head. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> the visor kind of <laughs> <laughs> ruins the purpose of it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> this is fantastic. Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't understand this part. This set is so fun. I am so confused. I'd have to do this like three more. I don't get it. <laughs> I'm so lost. I recommend everybody oh. who gets this set build it on a live stream. You need help? Let me look at it. Yeah. All right. Um, thanks, Claire. Oh gosh. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Claire and mods. I think, I think just Claire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, guys. We're, yeah. Let me clean this up. Hide. Let me get on it. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, sorry everybody. This is not cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Okay. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go switch it to something like subs like subscribers only. I think I can do that. I'm gonna try. Claire, do you mind like just trying to keep an eye on chat? I think Ross has it too, but I'm gonna try to uh, switch this so that we don't get spammed by jerks. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm so sorry, buddy. That's like totally not good. Um, let's see. Maybe do the timeout or whatever, like limit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we do that? Oh my gosh. We never had that problem. Yeah, we've never had to do this. Um, oh my gosh, this is this is the worst. Um, I don't even know how to do this. Ignore it. Um, thank you, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Sorry guys, we will, I don't know, just hold on a sec. Let's see if I can go in here and do it. Um, there we go, okay. Um, Slow down chat. Did it work? Uh, I think so. Slow mode is on. Okay. Send a message every Sorry, guys. Seconds. Hopefully that helps. Um, but you know what's okay. like, the joke's on them because when people do raids like that, it also promotes engagement. Yeah, but it's also like, <laughs> then everyone has to see that. Right. Like, I mean, yeah, but it. Yeah. you're right, but they're. Yeah, I'm so sorry, guys. Yeah, that was. It's a pain. Terrible. <sighs> It's but like we that fixed it. They, yeah. If they come back, <laughs> we can jump on them a lot faster now. But 15 seconds, I was like, okay, that's enough to like get the, you know, slow it down, slow it down. Anyways, hi. <laughs> <laughs> we got this. Ugh. All good. Oh my gosh. Whew. Well, I think we're good now. I think so too, Nick. Nice thing. Things slow. Yes, we are good now. Man, that was wild. Um, some people have nothing better to do, I swear. Right? I'm like, <laughs> like do you have nothing doing? better to do? Really? Um, anyways. Um, Claire, oh my gosh, thank you. Claire. What is what is what is the sticker say? Mem what does it say? Number one? Number oh. No, Claire. You're, you're breathtaking. No, she's number one. And yeah. breathtaking. It's not <laughs> you're, num you're number one. <laughs> Appreciate it, Claire. 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 What are you doing? I still remember. It's so cute. I still remember Claire's first video because it was oh, around the time you. you did one of your first streams. And and you asked chat like, hey, what are you guys doing? And Claire's like, I'm doing my hair and makeup because I'm going to make my first Lego video. <laughs> yeah, I remember that too. That was really cute. I was like, oh, nice. Cool. <laughs> I remember that. And now me and Claire are friends. <laughs> Um, oh, Hor Horatio, thank you for subscribing. And Nick, oh, thank you. Y'all got this. Appreciate it, Nick. We got this. <laughs> we can get through anything. It's all good. Um, let's see. There we go. Oh, you can't even see it. Can't even see it. I have to turn on the little camera. There we go. Okay. Nick Gundy, can you see it? There you are. That's you. <laughs> and a plastic architect. That's you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You guys are so sweet. I really do appreciate it. Haters gonna be jerks. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks, y'all. I'm I'm glad that I figured out slow mode. I've never had to do that. But yeah, yeah, it's only 15 seconds. It's like, you know, y'all can still chat and have a good time. Sometimes when it's a minute, it's like. Oh, yeah, I have something to say, <laughs> and I can't type it. Too much Lego, not enough money. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, Plastic Argus, like, love you guys. We love We're you fond too, of you too, Claire. <laughs> but seriously, I gotta go be back in an hour. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we'll chat later. Um, let's see. I'm so sorry you guys have to go through this. You guys are so nice and didn't deserve that. I mean, it's it's the internet. So. Honestly, I just... I. We're fine. We just, yeah, it's just we like, feel bad. You guys have to like, go through stuff like that. Y'all didn't sign up for that, you know? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I remember like a while back, I was trying to host like trivia, All right, and something yeah. similar happened, and I was like, "We're just trying to play trivia. <laughs> this is like Lego trivia. Why are you being mean?" <laughs> These people don't have time. Or too much time. So bad. So annoying. Like, jeez. Anyways, hey guys, <laughs> do you do you think the set is worth it? Um, so it's eight hundred dollars. I mean, it's so I don't know. I guess like full disclosure, and yeah. I, this is something that I don't know. I, I I feel like I should bring up. So being in land, we got this set for free. It's you know there's still a transaction. Basically, like they send it to us, and we don't pay anything. But then we give them a bunch of analytics on like how y'all respond to the video and like write up reports and stuff to help them out. So it's it's a give and take. Also, it's like 
I mean, like free marketing. But um, <laughs> yeah, they they use us as free advertising essentially, which we're fine with. We're totally cool. With it. <laughs> <laughs> but like, so you know, when people ask like, "Oh, is the set worth it?" I'm like, I didn't personally pay for yeah. it. So like, there's that bias. I feel like that I should just like bring up and like disclose. Um, and it's like in the description as well. But anyways, um, you know, at first when I heard about an ATAT, I was like, really? I don't know if I want this. Like, not sure. Do we need it? It's $800. Like I need to see it before I make a decision. Whereas some sets like the modular, whatever it is, I'm going to buy it. I don't even care. Um, like, Same with like the, the Mario. Yeah, Mario Whatever stuff. Mario set. We have every single Mario set. We're even even the costumes. We, we, we never even opened them, <laughs> but we have them. Yeah. And so... Um, so yeah, and then with this set, it was like, okay, we have to see it first. I don't really know, but like, I love this. This, like after seeing it, like if we didn't get this, I would have like watched other reviews and been like, is this worth my money? Mm -hmm. And we would definitely be there on, maybe not on Black Friday. We would try like order it from home because Black Friday is just, I don't yeah. know, leave, just going anywhere on Black Friday is insane. But yeah, we would definitely be buying this. So, I mean, for us, this would be worth $800. Um. I guess like it, it's a hard question like is it worth eight hundred dollars like is it worth it depends if it's worth it to you you know it's still a ton of money like what could you use that eight hundred dollars and do instead like just be responsible you know um i just feel like there's that as well like everyone's always like hyping each other up like oh yeah what'd you <laughs> buy you spent two two thousand dollars today noise what'd you get that's so cool and it's like okay you know maybe like buy lego but also just be responsible make, yeah you know? Buy as much as you want, but yeah, make sure you're, you're responsible. You're being responsible. Yeah. Um, <laughs> kind of went off on tangent, but like, okay, is it worth? If you're asking, like, is it worth eight hundred dollars? Like, as objectively as we could, because I would buy it. I would. I would have convinced Emily if she wasn't already convinced looking at it. Um, only because what really sold me on it, because I was I was a little hesitant on first too, and because and you know I should have known better. This is what the deal breaker was for me: is the interior. And um, I, in my head, I thought it was just gonna be like a really lame interior and just like Technic beams everywhere or something. And I was like, yeah, I don't care about that. But then when I saw like uh, the back of the box where it shows the cross section and it looks exactly like to a T how the cross section looks in the Star Wars cross section books that I happen to have. <laughs> And I was like, they, they they got it right. Like, there's like 40 seats or something. Or at least, like, it might be 38, but that's, for Lego standards, that's really good. And, like, it looks exactly yeah. like the cross-section. And that's what sold it for me. Um, like, beautiful. Actually, here. Like, it's show. super detailed. Yeah. Here's the... So, just showed you the cross-section book. Here's one of the boxes. And you can see it's that same cross-section. Like, that's amazing. So, that's what would have sold it for me. Um, had it been, had the interior not been like that and just like been like beams and support or something, because I honestly didn't think they would be able to do it based off of like the dimensions. I think it's going to be so heavy. Anything. Yeah, but now I'm like, yeah, that's it for me. Anyways, <laughs> back to this. <laughs> Worth is subjective. Exactly, Shy. Yeah. Oh, Shy's here. Hi. Told uh, you we'd be back, Shy. <laughs> and Nate is here. Welcome, welcome. Oh, right on. Oh, different Nate. Um, Nate oh. has subscribed, not other Nate. There's oh, gotcha. another Nate. There's there's like a lot of everybody. Um, oh, let's see. Catching up on chat. Oh, Tiny. Hello. I finally caught a live build. Awesome. That's awesome. It's great to have. That's Yeah, that's why I really like pushing to try to do these late night streams every now and then because I feel like a lot, a lot of the audience misses it. Yeah. Yeah, we like to do this. This is, this is actually so nice. I don't know. I think I heard Shy talking about it, but I know Shy's interested in getting it. Oh yeah? Yeah. I think he's taking a hiatus from Lego for a while, but Ooh. um Or just getting more sets. But I mean <laughs> Man. I get Aw, that. Shepherd, hello! I'm a huge fan of the vlogs. Awesome! It's great to have you here. I'm glad you like the videos. They're fun to make. I'm glad people watch them. <laughs> awesome. I plan on getting the UCS AT-80 in a couple years when I have a job and enough money. That's yeah, the way to do it. That's, that's kind of how we did this. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the uh, the Millennium Falcon, I think it came out in 20... 
16 or 2017, I think it was 2017, and I eventually, I think it was 2019 when I finally bought it, because I was saving up for a while. That and I was paying off my student loans. Um, and if you're not from America, that's not something you probably have to worry about, but here it is. Mm -hmm. Um, actually we have a question from Pierce. So, yo, yo. have you, <laughs> yo, yo, have you ever thought about doing a fan interaction where you could set up a video chat to meet fans and answer questions? So I'm thinking about trying something like this. Um, I guess it, I would, um, I would start it as kind of just like the members call because we do a monthly member stream and usually it's like a stream like this and me and Ross are just kind of like chatting, hanging out, kind of like giving y'all updates on the channel, what to expect, just talking about new releases. It's like, it kind of feels like evening streams. Like it's much more chill. Mm -hmm. Um, and like doing like a Zoom call for member streams, just because otherwise I'm just kind of talking at you, kind of like this. And so like, what's the difference between this stream and member stream, you know? So I'm thinking about trying that and then like maybe seeing how that goes. Um, we did try that once the very first time. It was, it was, we so it was like our first time trying to do a member stream. It was on Discord and we just had no idea what we were doing. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, do, do we do a round robin and introduce <laughs> ourselves? Is, is that... Is that what we do? And that's what we did. And it was kind of awkward, but like people just, were good sports. Yeah, it just took a, a bit and there's some technical difficulties. Yeah, it was like, how do we how do we do this? Like I want to like interact with people, but what's the best way? And so we've we've definitely figured it out, at least like for streams every month, but I do want to try something different. Um, so yeah, like I might try like a bonus member stream kind of Zoom call and just, you know, in case things go badly, it's not like a terrible monthly member stream or anything but that's that's kind of what i'm thinking i think that'd be kind of fun um please more night streams i work during the day but no pressure no pressure <laughs> but no pressure <laughs> thank you but if you're open to it more <laughs> i love that but no pressure though no pressure um what's the big paper at, -AT? oh yeah so this is my little foam at, -AT board it has a santa hat for obvious reasons because <laughs> it's cute um, so this is where I write the names of people who do like super chats, super stickers, join the membership. So as you can see, it's like all these different people on here. And then in the Santa hat, that's for people that like donate, I think it's like $20 towards the channel, like that kind of support. Um, but I just, I just appreciate y'all being here. It's just like a little extra something. During my first monetized stream, I felt kind of weird because I was like, you know, people were giving super chats and I was like, Thank you, but I don't have anything to like give back to you. Like, should I should I be doing something? So I have these boards and it's just kind of fun because I have like little mementos of everyone who's kind of supported the channel through not the years yet, but year over the past. <laughs> yeah, I guess about a year yeah. now. We have like a mystery machine. We have a Scooby head, a pumpkin, a Saurus star. It's kind of like my like members emoji um, kind of thing. It's like what I put in my Lego city. So yeah, it's, it's pretty fun, pretty cute. Um, and let's see. Nothing quite like chilling in bed, watching a Lego live stream at night. That's what me and Ross do like every day. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. catch a lot of the night live streams. Yeah, we love those. Instagram too, man. That's a fun place to go watch some Lego like, live streams. Oh my gosh, Crazy. yeah, that was so fun. <laughs> I did not even know about these communities, and I'm like, how do I hang out with them? Yeah, <laughs> it was so cool. Um, how much is the set? It'll be 800 US dollars. Um, it'll be coming out November 26th worldwide. Sometimes there's like different releases other places, but yeah, this is probably your cutest board ever. <laughs> oh, thanks, Tiny. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm very fond of it. I think it's. Eh. I think it's cute too. How are you doing on your build? Terrible. I'm still working on this weird part. Oh, I'm almost done. Yeah? With all four legs. You felt two bags, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like halfway through one bag. Yeah, but it's, uh, I'm a professional speed builder now. Oh yeah, have y'all heard that? <laughs> he... I like it when you tell the story. Okay. So you never tell the story. We were at Legoland Discovery Center and there was, it was like, a contest night. It was like adult night there and they have little contests for you to like keep you busy, little like Lego goodie bags and stuff. And one of them was like, they give you a poly bag to build and whoever builds it first wins the speed build. Cause that's how speed builds work. And Ross won. And he was so happy. 
He was like, wow. I never win anything. Like, it was just wild because, um, yeah, like it, it was the kind of thing, like, you know how like when you're in school and there's a contest and like everyone's going and like whoever finishes first is like, I'm done. And then everyone else is like, what? No, really? <laughs> like that's, that's kind of what happened. Like you could see it on their faces. Like adults were like, no. It was great. Um, Tiny. Hey, welcome Tiny. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Let's get you onto our cute little, oh, I just whacked the mic. I hope that wasn't loud. Uh -oh. Tiny. Let's put you over here. <laughs> Amazing. So yes, welcome to Scooby Snacks. You're like in its neck area. <laughs> that's you. Um, I think that's the one inaccurate part about the set but I think we're all pretty forgiving about it. We'll get to that in a minute. After, yeah? After okay. you're done telling okay. everyone how great I am. Oh yeah, so he won the speed build. Um, that's about it. It was awesome, I never won anything. And then after I won, they ended up giving out the same prize to everyone at the end of the day. <laughs> but I didn't care about the prize. I was just, I was so happy. Yeah, we were just there to have fun. I never win anything. Yeah. Ross was so happy. Yeah, so he won something. He like still talks about it. Clearly. Yeah, clearly. Um, oh yeah, so what I was saying about the neck of the at, -AT so, you know, they, I think from some of the pictures I saw of the box, like, you can, like, open the head and you can see, and there's like a hash that takes you to the main body of it, but, um, you know, the actual at, -AT it's supposed to be like a little hallway, the neck you're supposed to be able to walk through, but um, I don't think Lego was able to, to make a hollow neck that would be strong enough to support the head of the AT-AT. Oh gosh. So I was like, I, I don't blame him with that, man. That's a tough, that'd be a tough sell. So um, Patrick in chat's asking like, how is anyone going to afford an $800 set? That's fair. I mean, I think recently Lego, they always try to have like some wow factor sets on the shelves at the Lego store. And it's the kind of thing where like you walk in and like, if you don't even care about Lego, you're just here there. Cause like, you know, your sibling likes it or like, you know, your, your boyfriend's into it, your girlfriend, whatever. Um, it's just kind of cool seeing like giant sets like the Falcon. If you see that there, you're kind of like, okay, wow, that's that's cool. The Titanic, it's huge, it's cool. And this one, I feel like that's kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. And so it kind of goes into like, it's like a museum almost, like art piece for Lego stores that you can buy. And so even if they don't sell a ton of them, it's still like good marketing. It's like brings you into Lego stores. And also people will be buying these. Like it's definitely meant for like a ton of just like Lego Star Wars fans. Yeah. Like, I know I know a lot of people who aren't even Lego fans per se, um, but they just only buy UCS sets for some reason. Yeah. And so, like there's a really weird market, not market, but I mean, you know, there's a lot um, kind of the yuppie market <laughs> is pretty good for it. Hold on, I gotta... Shy has some really insightful... Oh yeah, he always got the easy okay, stuff. Okay, so Shy is saying like the way to afford <laughs> it is easy, yeah, I guess, you uh, just work. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess we're, we're here like beating around the bush, but no, Shy's yeah. got it right, yeah, it'll work. I mean, also like, I mean, just in general, it's, it's kind of crazy, we talked about this earlier, but like, Ross grew up with like, what, Mindstorms and like Lego Robotics. Mm -hmm. And, you know, basically he learned to code from that. And then he went to school and did coding because he like did it when he was younger. He really liked it. And now he codes for his job in order to afford Lego. And it's <laughs> like, Lego knows what they're doing. Yeah. They, they're like, okay, we're going to teach these young kids to do good and get a good career <laughs> so they can keep buying our stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's genius. Absolutely genius. Um, how long are you going to stream tonight? Probably, I'll finish off this and then I might help Emily finish off that. So maybe like another 30 minutes or so, yeah. something like that. Yeah, really like whenever we finish this bag that I've been working on for like an hour. Actually, how long you'll be going? Yeah, about an hour. No, it's been more than that. We yeah, it's been way more yeah, than Yeah, been hour. two hours. Two hours. Dang. Yeah. Look at us going. It was so good. Oh, got it. We have the worst part of Technic. So when you put a pin in the wrong spot. Oh, it's the worst. Yeah, especially when it's the little blue pins. Ugh. Aw. You got this. I got it. I got it. You we're can good. do it. We're good. 
speed builder over here. Uh, let's see. Um, what's your favorite Lego Star Wars set? Um, ATOT and Imperial, or um, uh, ATOT and Republic dropship. There you go. Oh gosh, I'm trying to think of mine. Maybe like, I like the buildable ones. Like the ships aren't as cool for me. Um, what about the Gungan sub? I like the Gungan sub a lot, but really just because of Queen Amidala. And mm. she shouldn't even be in that set. I don't know why she's in it. Just saying. Well, where else would we She wasn't got? even in the scene. Like in the box art, it shows Queen Amidala like. <laughs> on a Zoom call. <laughs> yeah, she's like on a Zoom call with the sub. <laughs> what? <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> So yeah, that's that's why I'm like I don't know why she's here, but thank you. But why is she why is she in this set? Yeah, that's. But yeah, I don't know. Probably like maybe the Porg or BB-8. I think you like the ITS transport. That oh was... yeah, the ITS was cool because I've been on the ship. I've been to Orlando. I'm from Orlando, so like I've I've been on it before. But also that was your first uh, live build. Oh, it was. And that's when I met Claire. Oh yeah. <laughs> So cute. Aww. I take back what I said about Technic. <laughs> you, I take you it all like back. It. <laughs> you hate it again. I I can't find any piece I'm looking for. I need like a, I don't even know what it's called. Like breaking everything. It's a, like a Technic thing. What is it, in. a pen? Yeah, some sort of like, it's, it's like this thing, a long thing. Do you have it? Did you take it? No. Did I drop it? It's probably just under one of these feet. Sorry, guys. We're looking for pieces. We're looking for a gray piece and a pile of gray pieces. It's gray and pokey. No, this one's round. It's not in the bags. Hold on, let me get this thing out. I don't know where it is. Do we just give up? <laughs> yeah, good night, everybody. Um, oh, thanks, Shy. Yeah, um, where did the Home Alone stream go? I want to rewatch it. Yeah, so that's, yeah, Shy answered. It's, um, I unlisted them because, I mean, some of my streams I just leave up because, I don't know. I, I, it takes time to go back and do it, and I just forget, honestly. I'll, I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, with the Home Alone, I enlisted it because it was like six or seven of like the same exact thumbnail, same exact set, and I was like, I don't need to be cluttering people's feeds. So I enlisted them, but they are in that playlist, I believe. If they're not in the playlist, let me know and I can go add them. Uh -huh. I'm terrible. I'm so sorry. Oh, I don't know where this piece is. All right. It's uh -huh. missing. It's not in the bag. Mm. No. Well, I guess we just. I can go grab one. Give up. Oh, it's only literally just one more you're missing. <laughs> yeah. Oof. When did you meet? Let me grab one for you. We met in summer 2017. Um, we met, you'll never guess. It was at a like programming conference. So that that happened. Um, yeah, like we met at like a, a programming, like the most nerdy thing ever. Um, and we did like similar stuff in our like careers. And so we were like, okay, like, so we were chatting and now we're married. It's pretty much how it happened. Um, you just sort the pieces in the bag and then build. That would work, except like when you're streaming, that doesn't work. But yeah, normally I feel like it would work. Um, where do you get your ATA -AT shirt? This is from Target in the guys section, because the girls section shirts are just, they're not good. They don't have Star Wars, and if they do, it's just Baby Yoda, and it's just not great. Um, just subscribe, love the content, keep it up. Ne uh, newer to building Lego Star Wars as of this year, deciding between AT, -AT and Falcon. Ooh, Justin, um, I don't know. My vote would be Falcon, but obviously it's up to you. I just feel like the Falcon's more iconic, but this one I feel like will look really cool, like on a table somewhere. Look really cool, thanks. Not the Yay. right color, but um, I'm sure we'll find the other piece. Saved the day. Right. 
had to go to my old Bionicle collection. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Yay, Ross. Hi from Singapore. Hey. Oh, cool. Welcome. Great to have you. That's so cool. Plus adults have the ability to afford larger sets. Yeah, exactly. That's that's very true. It's 18 plus. I hear you need an ID to buy it now. Ross, that joke was funny <laughs> literally a year ago. <laughs> it's over now. Oh my goodness. Ooh. This is the hardest thing I've ever done. A little Technic. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> like, it's so difficult. Like, nothing's staying where it should. This is cool. Uh, you guys enjoying being able to see it from this point of view? This terrible point of view. Have a look at this, man. This thing's cool. Aww. It's like a little baby. Aww. Gucci coo. Gucci coo. Ross. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do this. Oh my gosh. Yeah, night, night streams are just weird, I think. <laughs> Gucci coo. Gucci coo. <laughs> Who's a good AT AT? Lieber's gonna get jealous. Yeah, Ladybird's not gonna like this. I've actually had multiple requests from people being like, I need to see the ATAT -AT next to your dog. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like one ass and I was like, sure. And then someone else asked, I'm like, okay. Like I didn't realize this would be like a common thing, but I can, I can make that happen. I have the power to make that happen. So cool. Just so weird. I don't know, I like, was not expecting that. I'm gonna have to get a uh, flamingo toy for the ATAT -AT as well. Oh my gosh, a mingo. <laughs> Is Tommy here? I don't think I've seen Tommy. Oh my gosh. So funny. Wow, this thing's a blast. You like it? Yeah. Oh, good. Technically, Anakin's lightsaber. Um, oh, one of the biggest reasons I'm getting UCS is for Luke's lightsaber. I guess we're gonna miss out on that. Is it Anakin's lightsaber? I thought it was Luke's lightsaber. Oh, like it's, his... it's Luke's, or technically Anakin's. Is, is it... it... Is it the Return of the Jedi lightsaber, or is it the New Hope and Empire Strikes Back lightsaber? It's they... Luke's. It's Luke's lightsaber. Well, there's two Luke's lightsaber. I don't know. Clarify. Ladybird will attack it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Let's hope not. I would be so upset if like Ladybird came and attacked this, and then it like fell over and broke. I would not be happy. I didn't even do this right. I quit. <laughs> I'm done. How wrong? How wrong were I you? I need you to fix them. Oh boy. <laughs> I can't do this. Um, so they're supposed to like connect, you know, like right now they do this, but they're supposed to do that. Oh, you put some backwards? Yeah. I didn't know that they were supposed to be the other way. Oh. This is terrible. <laughs> Yoda's lightsaber set on the secondary market is overpriced. Oh yeah, definitely. Especially for the fact that you could just like piece it out yourself really easy. Yeah. Is Mama Series your actual mom? Yes. <laughs> yep. Confirmed. Yep, it's, I'm, it's my actual mom. I saw the leak and it looks like Anakin's lightsaber. I'm pretty sure it's Luke's. I don't know. Maybe, maybe well, not. No, no. Or, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was, it was Anakin's okay. and then he gave it, in, or Obi-Wan took it on Mustafar when he was like, I hate you. And he was like, you're my brother, Anakin. You were supposed to bring balance to the floor. And it was, it was a beautiful scene. Very yeah. traumatic. Um, and then, yeah, so then he gives the lightsaber. But then what got really annoying is it somehow becomes Ray's lightsaber. And Disney just like, no, it's Ray's lightsaber now. And we're like, dude, that is Anakin's lightsaber. Not Luke's lightsaber. Not Ray's lightsaber. It is Anakin's lightsaber. And they're like, nah, we're labeling it as hers now. <laughs> um, where are we? <laughs> Mr. Bricks is saying, this is my first stream, and Ross, coochie-coo. Coochie-coo. <laughs> hey, Paul, what's going on? Welcome. Hello there. Uh, Shazam from All Pricks Count. Hello, hello. 
Shazam. Nice joke, Ross. A round of applause for him, everyone. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Our streams get like weirder as time goes on. So yeah, you get to fix all of these. I oh, can't do it. Boy. I just can't. On a scale of one to even. Even. Can't even. The AT, AT looks like Boston Dynamics robot dog oh, right yeah. now. Oh yeah, I guess so. Huh. I guess so. Nobody likes Ray. <laughs> they had so much potential. And then they did oh, nothing with it. Don't get me started. That's okay. Moving on. <laughs> um, Mama Sora is saying that I got her into Lego. She likes by uh, botanical sets, Disney Castle, Grand Piano, Typewriter. <laughs> Burnt Pickles like, goochie, goochie, goo. It's like a little little baby. And it has a belly button. I love that. That's so funny. <laughs> it does have a belly button. Right? A navel. I love that. Oh my gosh. Is anyone excited for Luke's land speed or UCS? Is oh, that like, actually right. happening? I've seen rumor and like I've seen enough rumors to where I'm like, I think it's happening. I mean, it's just funny because it's kind of like a meme. Yeah. It's like, oh, another Luke's land speeder. <laughs> cool. Um. Oh, let's see. I'd be impressed if it doesn't get weirder. <laughs> Nick has like zero. His expectations are just like... <laughs> At the bottom. <laughs> it's like anything could happen. <laughs> anything. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. Ooh, Malik is saying sheesh. Sheesh. A T A T S are slow. Oh, A T A T's are slow. Yeah, they are kind of slow. They're just huge. Um. No, it is Ray's. There's a video explaining whose it is. You should watch it. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. It belongs in a museum. Because <laughs> it, it belongs to Kylo Ren. <laughs> he even says it in the movie. It belongs to him. I like it belongs the way, to me. I like the way he says it, too. Like, I used to quote it all the time. Anytime, like, I see a kid running around with a lightsaber, I have to stop, and Emily, like, knows it's coming. She, like, braces for it, and I'm like, the lightsaber. It belongs to I'm me. I'm just like waiting for a kid to start crying. <laughs> like, who's this big man? <laughs> my mom bought it for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nobody. Ross. Good <laughs> chick. <laughs> Do you have to use the thing to move them? Yeah. You have to use a screwdriver? You want to try it? Yeah, I want to try it. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's heavy. Wrong franchise, but I like it. Uh, oh my gosh, this is heavy. Oh my gosh. Careful, careful. Okay, and then Breaks so it. right in there, see the little oh my gosh, brown okay. thing? Wow. This is cool. Just do that the rest of the stream. <laughs> that way I won't break anything. When are you streaming next? Tomorrow, probably like 1 p.m. Central, something like that. <laughs> what were we building last time? I think it was Home Alone and like we were getting towards the end <laughs> and Emily just broke kept like everything. breaking everything and you could tell I was getting like a little frustrated. Stop touching it! <laughs> I was like, Emily, just put it down and you're like, what? And, and like, it was like every time you touched it, something else <laughs> fell off and I was like, stop touching it. And then like someone in chat was like, Emily, stop, stop. <laughs> stop it now. <laughs> oh, right. Because like the Home Alone is like attached to the treehouse and I kept like moving the house around and the treehouse would like go flying. Oh, yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm never forgetting the moment Ross gave an ATAT -AT a belly rub. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel weird doing it. Like, oh, hey, little guy. I'm playing around with the spinny derby. Okay. You're doing your other messed up feet. <laughs> Don't touch anything else. Just play with the spinny thing. <laughs> That's what I heard. Oh, Lego bear putting the kids to bed now. Aw. Kid. Yeah, I guess it is getting, I guess, late for kids. <laughs> what breed of dog do we have? It's like a... It's like it's. We're pretty sure that she's a dog. Um, can't confirm. Can yeah, I'm pretty sure she's like a lab mixed with like twelve other things. 
but she has lab ears. She's like, I don't know, a 50 pound labby looking dog. She's pretty cool. My top two is lab mixed with maybe pit bull, but like something else. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'm finally back. Amazing set. Congrats. Aw, hey Alejandro. Great to have you back again. Nick Gundy's just like, like Scoobies in the chat. I, I'm a head out. <laughs> All right, Mr. Bricks. Thanks so much for coming by. You were here for a while. We really appreciate it. Long live the Emosaurus channel. <laughs> <laughs> With our stupid streams. What are we even doing? Just having a good time. We are just having a good time. Anyone get anything for the Bricklink designer sets round two? What did you get, Shy? I'm sure you got stuff. What did you buy? What did you buy? Let us know. I have some cold, hot tea. A little bit of caffeine. Oh, also, by the way, I don't know if y'all noticed this mug. Merry Christmas, you filthy a -fall. It's like Home Alone, but Lego, even though Home Alone is also Lego. And then on the back, it's in green. Check it out, pretty cute. I have them in my little merch store. They she made them herself. I spent so long designing this. I know it doesn't look like I should have spent that long, but I don't have graphic design skills. So this took me like four hours. Check them out, you know, they're cute little mugs. Good gifts for, you know, the holidays, I don't know. There's also that on a shirt. So you can have like an ugly Christmas sweater kind of like vibe, but it's a shirt, you know, so you can actually wear it places. Still here, by the way, guys, just quiet because I got to work. <laughs> of course, Bricky Brit, great to have you. It's always good to lurk and work, as long as you can still work. Some people here are like, I'm not getting anything done at work, <laughs> but I'm here. I'm like, so I had to stop working. Don't life. get fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ross is like, I can't watch your streams while I'm working. And I'm like, yeah, you should probably like, I can't even listen keep to your them. job. <laughs> RIP to seasons of time. What happened to that one? I don't know. Oh, the calendar mm. one. Oh, Shy Time saying Lego Store in the Seasons of Time. Nice, nice, nice. I think that's what Snow Lena got too. Oh, yeah? I think she got Season Seasons of Time is like really cool. Look good. So far, oh, Lego Store, Windmill, Bowling Alley, Phoenician Houses, and Aquarium have passed. Aw, so cool. Lurk and work. Haha, <laughs> me right now. <laughs> yep, awesome. <laughs> Um, Lego Bear saying I'll be with you tomorrow during my work day. Awesome. Um, man, the way some of these sets are priced, you might need to get it insured. <laughs> it's like, yeah, some of them are point. definitely pricey now. How do you insure against it breaking? <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, Ross needs an AT-AT mom hat. I'm actually thinking about making one now. I think that'd be so funny to make like a little cartoon AT-AT. I would like, it'd be funny to put that, like a sticker on the back of your car, like AT-AT mom. <laughs> and have it like look like a dog. Mm -hmm. That would be funny. Would you put that on, 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 on our car? Would you, would you do that? Maybe? These are upside down. What's upside down? I told you I had no idea how to do it. <laughs> I fixed the, your one problem and then... Was... I spent an hour building them and they're all wrong. Uh, I don't like Technic again. It lasted like four hours. I was like, yeah, Technic's cool. Now I don't. I don't think you would have liked building that leg then. Or the legs that I was doing. I was pretty heavy on the Technic. Oh gosh. I'd have a hard time in this stream without me tomorrow. Yeah, I will. This will actually be difficult. <laughs> Long live AT-AT AT moms. Yes. The force is very strong in this channel. Oh. Um, oh, Brian really wanted the calendar. Is it, so what happened to it? Did it like not get picked? I actually, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really know much about the Bricklink designer program. I like kind of pretend I do. No, it's but, just. But like, I don't really understand what's going it's on with it. Idea set that Lego decided were deemed worthy enough to sell through Bricklink. Okay. Um, but it's like kind of like a crowdsource kind of thing, so they need a certain number of them to be ordered before Lego will start producing them. Okay. And it sounds like okay. most of them made it, but there's only up to 10,000, and once the 10,000 are reached, then that's it. And Why would they not make more than that? I don't get that. Like, if it sells really well, why not? I don't know. Kind of weird. Um... Have you been to Vietnam? I have not. I, I do would like, like to go. Vietnamese food though. Yeah, Vietnamese food is like the best. Oh my gosh. I love it. 
Did you ever fix the AT AT that fell a while back? Nope. No, it's like still in a bag, just like in pieces. Or shame. I don't even want to touch it. It like stresses me out when you I should, look you, at uh, it. Tell them what happened. So yeah, oh yeah, yeah. So a while back, like if you weren't there, which most of you probably weren't, we were streaming and we used to have the AT AT like kind of like up on the wall behind Ross over there. It was just sitting there, like you know, standing there on display. Menacingly. Menacingly. And we were streaming, we weren't touching anything, nothing happened. Like it was just like this. And then it just fell. It just like came crumbling down and it was just shattered in pieces. And we were like, what happened? Um, but apparently that's like a known issue. It'll just give out one day and it'll just fall. So that's what I'm kind of worried about with this one. I doubt that'll happen. Like it's very sturdy. Yeah, I mean, it's impossible. The, you know, the way the worm gear works, it's you can only adjust the gears by moving the worm gear. Um, you pass the last foot. Little hoof. Only the first five to make 3,000. Oh, there's mm -hmm. like a... Yeah, I don't know the ins and outs, but... Burnt Trickle wants you to give it a belly rub. Coochie coo. <laughs> so weird. Hey, Carlson's Bricks. Welcome, welcome. Um, Ross, what's your favorite Family Guy Star Wars scene? Ooh. Um, I like whenever they say, like, something, something, dark, dark side. side. <laughs> something, something, complete. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. Um, oh, you know what? It, I don't know if it's my favorite. It's just the one that I, comes to my mind is in the one where it's the Return of the Jedi. Um, when they're about to be thrown into the Sarlacc pit and, like... You know, in the in the real movie, they're like kind of giving each other a look, and there's like a tuba playing in the background. But in the Family Guy one, they like all look at each other, and, and then there's like boom, 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 and like they're like looking at each other, and like, <laughs> but everybody's looking at each other, not just the the three main characters. Like, Jabba's looking, and like everybody, and then like that one guy comes up, he's like, "Well, we're waiting." <laughs> What? From Cheaper by the Dozen. You don't remember? It was funny. It was a good I'm one. I'm sure it really was funny. You, I just don't You have to like remember. know John Williams' songs. You need to know all the songs from from, from Star Wars. But that, there's a point where they're like, the dude's like playing a tuba and like, they're like looking at each other and every time they turn to look at each other, the tuba plays. It's just like one note. Boom. Okay. Boom. <laughs> well, <laughs> anyway. All right, sorry. Uh, the chicken was fun. <laughs> the chicken's Boba Fett. <laughs> Gosh, I do not even remember. We need to watch that again. You know, that was actually like a quote of what he said. <laughs> like, Peter just like looks, he's like, ah, the chicken's Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs> and then when the when Boba Fett falls into the Sarlacc pit, they're like, where's Boba Fett? It's like, oh, he fell. What? Yeah, he just like fell in the Sarlacc pit. Like, what? Really? Yeah, he's dead. Oh, okay. That's wild. Because <laughs> it's kind of like what happened. All right, I'm gonna need you to bring some of these pieces over. Well, I like how Streamlabs says, "Be sure to like the smash button." Yeah. <laughs> um, ooh, digital fanboy, what's going on? And MGH, can you pick up the AT AT and show me? I think we'll do that once we finish this bag because he's still like working on stuff for I can it. Pick up that one. I can. Is it good? Yeah. Oh, okay. So here it is. It's upside down. Okay, so. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. It looks scary. <laughs> I hate <laughs> It's like, like, it looks like some robot thing with like all these wires inside. Well, that's what like, someone that was, like, said. It looks heart. like the, the Boston yeah. Mechanics. Uh, it's heavy. Oh my gosh. Uh, but yeah. Police dog or military dog or whatever that will be replacing us soon. It's like, yeah, it, it looks kind of scary right now. <laughs> I'm right. just going to put it away. Yeah, Rub its it belly away. before it attacks you. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. I wasn't kidding. Coochie -coo. ah. Oh my gosh. Um. Oh, Carlson's bricks. Hey, hey. Um. Get out of my bounty hunter meeting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Doc Samson. <laughs> oh gosh, leg is an addiction. Spent over three k the last three months. It definitely is. Like, yeah. Please spend responsibly. Like, have those fun. Pieces. Buy cool stuff, but spend responsibly. Like. You know, be responsible. That's about it. 
Um, I like the scene with the Darth, uh, the Death Star technicians complaining about the safety bar. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Like, can I just get like a bar? Can I just get a bar here? Fender tube. What's going on? And Tia. It does look scary. Doesn't it look weird? I'm like totally. Are we aiming for an all nighter? No. No, dude. All like right. we're in bed by like ten every I gotta, night. I gotta go to work. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way. Can you imagine though? Building this all. Oh my gosh. Like well, I'm, our I buddy can... uh, Hive is doing a 24-hour stream, and he's going to be building the UCS Slave One all night. Um, and if I, because it, it's like during Thanksgiving week, if I didn't have like family coming over, I would probably just do it with him too, because that'd oh be the gosh. only way I would get it built, and we could just build our UCS Slave Ones together. Right. At least you can join for a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Or UCS, um, um, Boba Fett Starship, sorry. Gosh, but yeah, definitely not aiming for an all-nighter, Christian. No. Yet. <laughs> like, I see people doing these, like, 24-hour streams, or, like, someone's done, like, what, a 48-hour stream? That was BFAB. Yeah, it sounds like something BFAB would do. <laughs> but I'm like, there's no way. I, I get so tired so quickly. I just can't. Uh, Saxon Studios, what's going on? Welcome. Uh, Lego Bear heading out. Good night, guys. Good night, Lego Bear. Take care. No, have a good night. Um, oh, Adora Build still hanging out with us. Awesome. awesome. It's great to have you here, Ruth. I I really hope you're doing well. Um, oh, by the way, if you are just joining, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. We put out a ton of content. We'll be like talking more about this set going forward in some videos. Um, we do some shopping vlogs, Lego City updates all sorts of fun stuff you can always like subscribe and then change your mind later but like you probably won't because we have fun you'll have a good time here um shy is saying exactly come on and join us for a bit yeah oh are you doing it too shy oh, oh yeah, yeah that's why shy's doing it too yeah you need to go hang out with them yeah, that'll be fun i want to yeah well yes okay obviously <laughs> yeah those 24 to 48 hour streams are crazy right i could never do that like after i guess like I can do it because I, I feel like BFAB's done it before, but he just has everyone else talking for him. <laughs> He's just like, the he camera's has his camera black off. <laughs> and he doesn't talk for like hours at a time. I'm like, are you here? I don't know where you are. Um, Dr. Dave. Um, oh, member for two months. Awesome. Oh, cool. Hey guys, I love this AT80 -AT set. Very cool. Happy yeah, to hear it. we are glad to hear that. Oh man. Yeah, definitely expect some. I guess not some, probably like a good chunk of like AT, AT content over the next few weeks, probably leading up to a uh, release. There's just, yeah, we're gonna be reviewing it. We'll probably like take some cute pictures with it, like on a leash. I'm more excited about that. I don't know. Dr. Dave. Uh, Get it like a you're on car seat maybe. The bottom over here. I split up Dr. and Dave to make it fit. So I could still write it decently big. But there you are. Thank you, Dr. Dave, for hanging out with us for two months. That's crazy. Hey, look, I found the piece you lost. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Wow, was it over on your side? No, it was right over there. Wow. Oh. Oops. Yeah, I just have a panel to help you. Yeah, exactly. Just like, yeah, come on. You guys talk for me. I'll just host. <laughs> um, one time, Elevation did a seven-day stream. Did yeah. you, like, go insane at the end of that? Like, don't you need to sleep? I don't know. I feel like, like we learned about that in psychology class. What are the dimensions of the build? It's about two feet by two feet tall and then kind of thin. So it'll definitely fit on these bookshelves. So that's good. I'm very excited about that. Oh, Dr. Dave. No worries. Awesome. Thanks, Emily. Thank you, Dr. Dave, for hanging out with us. Ricky Britt saying, I usually wake up and see your channel say streamed two hours ago. <laughs> Stuff That's like so that. sad. <laughs> and a single glistening tear rolls down my cheek. Oh, no. <laughs> no, don't say it. <laughs> so sad. Right? Yeah, we usually, like, all end at around, like, maybe four-ish our time, which is usually, like, what, 8 a.m. Australian time, something like that. Um, so it's, like, a little bit early. I see, like, Snow Lena, and she'll be here, and I'm like, why are you awake? And it's like 6 a.m. Right. or something. She's 5 Australia. I'm like, why are you here? Why All are, right. Why are you awake right now? Well, we were so close, so we only have one more. So, um, to kind of recap, in in the AT, AT box, there's four boxes. Yes. So it's boxception. So this is box two. Um, 
and which we're almost done with. So we've got the hooves and the feet, and we just need to finish the the legs here. Does it not go on? No, because we haven't finished the legs. Oh, so it's that's not stumpy. Yeah, so that's bag seven. Okay. I don't know how many bags there are in total because we haven't looked at the other boxes, but. Um, it's definitely nice, you know, this one thing, uh, we brought this up in the earlier stream. This is a perfect set if you have, like, a sibling or a partner or want to build it with someone else. Because, Friends. Yeah, like, um, you know, Emily was able to start on the body and I was able to start on the legs. And we, we can build switched. together two yeah. instruction books. So, yeah, like, that's my biggest complaint with sets usually is, like, you can't build yeah, it with other people. Exactly. This one you can. It's perfect for it's it. It's very collaborative. And it's also like too big to build on your own. I guess you could, but like. <laughs> well, like the Falcon, man. Right. That was such a that was such a drag. Like, not drag, maybe. It was like a grind getting through it. Like, I love the set. Absolutely love it. Absolutely yeah. hated building it. Um, because, yeah, it was just all plates and all technics and crazy stuff happening. But, man, this one's so cool. And I think. <laughs> I think everyone deserves to see a little bit more yeah. of uh, my favorite thing. Real quick, Battle Droid Bricks, thank you so much for subscribing. Oh, thanks. You're awesome. <laughs> Boxception, Ross is so precious. <laughs> um, Brickstream Geeks wants to know, Ross, what do you think of the question mark block? Is it worth buying? Um, If you're like a Mario fan, I definitely say it's worth buying, and especially if you like the N64 game. I know a lot of people are upset that like the question mark block wasn't in that game and like I think you have a right to be upset about that or rather I guess just confused but I think it was worth it um I still haven't found all of the man I can't oh there it is uh I haven't found all the stars in it yet I think there's some videos out like Ash and Flash has a good video on, oh yeah on all of it yeah oh, he actually got them all good job Ash look at that look at that <laughs> Oh what if, what if like in the Star Wars universe that's how they actually had to move? They had like guys sitting out there with giant screwdrivers, like Ugh, okay. Sounds impractical. <laughs> um, I was actually surprised. Look at how much you know. Like if, if I'm twisting it, it's getting a, a lot of torque, like a lot of motion. I thought I would have to sit here and be like to get anywhere, but like you know, one full rotation of the screwdriver gets you pretty yeah. far. It's not that much of like it actually works really well. Yeah. We'll see how far it goes. And then Christian was like, are we sure about putting it on another shelf? <laughs> so what's nice is um, we talked about this earlier too. The bottom of this has like a little tire piece. And so it does. It, There's friction. Yeah. Like you can hear it, me trying to push it. So like it's not going to slip at least. Um, and right. And we think. Originally, I thought the reason the last one fell was it slipped because of like, you know, it's just plates on the bottom. Yeah. Um, but when we looked at the replay, it didn't appear to be that it slipped. So then, you know, we heard from uh, a friend at Bricks and Minifigs that they've had a lot of those sets just break or just fall. And it's just because the actual knee joints just like give out. This is so cool. Right? It's really satisfying. Look at that. It looks so scary though. It's like... From this angle, it looks like like wires inside, and it's mostly covered with gray, but it looks like it was like torn apart, I guess, because it's like half built. And all the insides are like gross wire. Like it looks like some weird robo dog, like we discussed earlier. So I like hate what it looks like right now. Like this is kind of scary, <laughs> but you can at least give it belly rubs. So that's kind of nice. Like it's just like on its back. And this is the only time it'll probably be on its back because once you start building the yeah. It goes on top of it. You won't be. Coochie coo. <laughs> Coochie coo. Coochie coo. <laughs> <laughs> I want to build like the legs and then give it a belly rub and it's like, nah. <laughs> right. Oh, Angel. What's going on, Angel? Welcome. Oh, man. Dr. Dave, it's pretty cool. I think General Beers needs to be the one turning the screwdriver. Not General Beers. Yeah. What did I say? Did I say, did I say it wrong? Did no. I say General no, Beers? No, yeah. General okay. Beers. Um, will it replace the Falcon? In the pride of display space. <laughs> I think the Falcon looks really good yeah. there. That'll I, stay there. I think it's kind of become iconic in our like small world. Like that's just like that's my yeah, background. That's just the background. Is to, like you know. people don't like change here. I, like one time I straightened my hair. Never, people lost never their again. minds. Like people like messaged me, they were like, Your hair is straight. All the comments were like your hair is straight. Like people don't like change on this channel. They just want the same thing and I'm like good good like we know how to do that so I'm like you know let's just like leave the background 
as it is. I like it. Like we'll switch up the sides yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I like messing with the other stuff and changing those. But like the, the constant is the Falcon and the Mickey and Minnie art, which is above. And the buildable Mickey Mini, I think. Those are, yeah. But Thanks. those can, I feel like those can move around as long as they're still there. Ooh, I want to show it off under the camera. Let's see if I can do this. Aw, Gucci caps. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. ATAT looks like a dog, right? I swear it's a puppy. But yeah, check this out. Like the screwdriver, you just like move its legs like that. Isn't that cool? Ross put me on this duty where I just do nothing because usually I just end up breaking things instead. So this is better use of my time. <laughs> um, oh, let's see. For real hair? Yeah, I like, yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. Um, after stream, I started believing that Toy Story could be, could oh, be I've ready. Done that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> you can use it as a towel. Um, stool in the bathroom for how big it is. <laughs> Man, like, yeah, it's gonna get pretty big. Make it's gonna sure be tall. Don't break, it. Ah! don't break my camera. Uh, okay, yeah. So there it is, standing. Let me adjust the screw on this. Real quick. I'm actually afraid the Falcon will fall. <laughs> it's on a display stand. Like it is very happy where it's at. It will not be falling. I worry that like the pieces it'll start to give with it. But I guess if it's always on the stand, it's not a problem. Yeah. There we go. Is that less creepy? No, it's worse. Now it looks like it's just gonna start running. <laughs> <laughs> Feed me. Feed. Like Lego first, Ross, definitely. Like since he was a kid. I only got into it like two or three years ago. Does this set come with many fakes? It comes with nine. So we get, I think four, Snow troopers, one snow trooper commander, two AT, AT pilots. And look at that, it can balance. General Veers and Luke. I have one leg up. It can, oh. it can balance on three legs. It could be doing like Ladybird does. Yeah. Our dog, she like does this thing where like she'll just be standing on all four legs except like one paws up. So three legs. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So my dog does this thing where she stands on three legs. And um, it's just really cute, so we can make our dog do that, and they can pose next to each other. It'll be adorable. Stay tuned. Pictures are coming. What should we name it? What should we name it? Let us know in chat. Let me know. Do you guys have any good ideas for names for our ATAT? -AT? Obviously, it's not done yet, so. That's what we should tomorrow. We'll have people come up with some good names, and then we can do a poll on it. Okay. Yeah, we'll have people vote. I like Ross's hair though. I don't want it to be like uh, what was that vote where like the scientists <laughs> were like put out an internet poll it's like name this boat that's going on an expedition <laughs> to antarctica <laughs> it's like a really big deal and like the name that won was Bodie mcboat face <laughs> <laughs> it's funny i don't that's care what, what you say that's funny <laughs> um oh by the way y'all we have like 140 in chat right now wow. which is crazy make sure to leave a like down below like the stream subscribe if you're new i see some new people here i see you Make sure to subscribe. We really do appreciate it. it. Totally helps us out. And also, if you're here, then you probably like Lego live streams or Star Wars. We're gonna be making Star a bunch Wars. more Star Wars content over the next few weeks. And also, like, there's fun stuff coming up January 1st. So stick around, hang out. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, glitchy goo. <laughs> glitchy goo. <laughs> Name it Addy, like AT. -AT. Oh, all right. That's okay. Addisaurus. Addison. Addison would be a good name for it. Addy, Addison. I like Adasaurus, Addy, Odie. Yeah, people are coming up with like Odie, very similar AT -AT. stuff. Doris. Doris. <laughs> huh. Some good ones. AT McAT face. AT McAT. <laughs> Ian, get out. <laughs> That's my favorite one. AT <laughs> McAT face. <laughs> I, I hate how funny he thinks this is. <laughs> How did I not do that? Like I even made the joke and I didn't even put it together. Ugh, I'm just oh getting my late. gosh, 80 McAtee face. 18 McAtee face. Hovey, aw. Four more likes, what are we at? Oh, we're almost at 200. Yeah, leave a like down below. Get us to 200, I'm sure like, we're probably already there by the time I'm talking right now, but yeah, do it. I really appreciate it. Um, Let's see. Oh gosh, ooh, a new subscriber, Erickson, see? Asking people to subscribe yeah, works. works. Thank Jr. you, Erickson. I like that. 
Ross yep. Jr. Little Ross. And Fireman Bree. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Be like them, y'all. Hit subscribe. See? They were like shouted out by Streamlabs. Very, very prestigious yeah. honor. M Brit likes M A T A T. M A T A T. M Matt at. M Matt at. <laughs> Addy is cute. I like Addy too, Brittany. I think that's cute. Are you master builders? No. No. Not at all. <laughs> There's only like 25 master builders in the whole world. Yeah, you know the that? newest one was just inducted in like Osaka, yeah. did he say? Crazy. There's not a lot of them. Thick boy. Thick boy. <laughs> Dang. Addy Mc. That boy is thick. <laughs> AXL, because it looks like a dog, a mechanical dog. What about Ladybird? Is there like a pun with Ladybird we could come up with? Like Lady. Lay A T. Late A T Bird. A T A T Bird. Late Late T Bird. A T A T Bird. A T Bird. Do a poll. Lady, I think we will do a poll. I think we will. Lady A T. Late. Lady Lady. Late T Bird. Hmm. I still like A T Mc A T Face. <laughs> 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 it's so stupid. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Anyways. Eighty <laughs> mc eight. What was it? Eighty mc eighty face. Yeah, eighty mc eighty face. That's stupid. <laughs> How about naming it eighty eighty big eight big eighty eighty because it's big. Name it thick boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thick boy. <laughs> uh, Bert, Bert Earp, thanks for subscribing. I guess this is content you're here for. Like sometimes I make those jokes in vlogs and people comment and they're like, this is exactly why I'm here. I'm like, okay. My favorite is when I, I do the weird songs and then people like comment the songs in, in the comments. Yeah, they're like, this was the best. Yeah. Was like, I don't know, like, what was it, what? the dog part? Oh yeah, like I, I was, we were singing a song because we were gonna, the, the vlog ended with us taking Lady Bird to the dog park and I was going to the dog park, bark, bark. And that was, the, the was video a... ended on bark, bark. And that, that was, was it. it. And you know, Emily posted in there like, hey, let us know what was your favorite like Ross joke. And you'd be surprised how many people made it to the end just to type in bark, bark. Yeah. <laughs> like they're like bark bark. And I was like, wow, you guys actually made it. And I was like, wow, you watched to the end. Like you always hope they watch to the end. You know, of course, like you want everyone to watch your whole video all the way through and love it. And then watch it seven more times to share with all their friends, like, subscribe. <laughs> yeah, that, those things. But like, it's surprising when, you know, if someone actually makes it to the end, it's like, wow, this happened. Thank you. Um, Addysaurus. That's cute. Cause then it's like part of the family. I like that one. Eight T A T. Vanderbilt, my go, what's going on? <laughs> Alaskan gypsies, hello. Um, hey, you know, that brings me, you know how like people are fighting in general, there's always a fight, is it at at or at at? What no. if we call it like the at at or the at at? Just make at everyone upset. Oh it's, my gosh. It's the at at t. <laughs> the at at <laughs> walker. Like, like, oh gosh. Ugh. We saw this one like TikTok recently and this guy was like out on his porch and he was like talking about um, crows, I guess. He's like, oh yeah, these crows are here. Like, I like to feed the crows. And people are like, those aren't crows. They're those, graggles. They're graggles. And he's like, okay, fine. And then he's like, hey, you know, I like to feed these graggles. And everyone's like, no, they're not graggles. They're crows. And then he's like, hey, everyone, I'm out here feeding these chickens. Y'all wouldn't. <laughs> people now got nobody's mad happy. With this one, people got mad with crows. Now they're chickens. I'm calling them chickens. No one's happy. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Oh. Yeah. Hey, um, Pierce. Oh, Pierce. Oh, thank you so much for the $5. That is so sweet. Uh, thanks for the awesome daily streams. And I can't wait for more. Keep it up. And remember, keep being oh, you. Oh, really appreciate it, Aww, Pierce. Really you, appreciate Pierce. the support. That is really, really sweet. Aww. I'm glad <laughs> you found our channel. I'm glad you enjoyed the content. That makes me so happy. So let's see. <laughs> username, uh, username checks out, I guess. It says we should call it the Tata. Replace, like, username. <laughs> His name is Username. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. The Tata. -ta. The Tata. -ta. Get your own Tauntaun. <laughs> 80 80. Oh, can we see? Oh, you can see it. There you are. You're in the top corner on this little block. That's you. I like Craig. Let's take Craig. <laughs> Craig. Craig the ATAT. -AT. Oh, what, what was it? Um. When they were asking like Milner the the hammer, oh. and then Paul Rudd was like Jonathan, 
Like they're they're asking all like the whole cast like what's the hammer's name? Oh yeah. They're like Mjolnir. Yeah, they're, they couldn't pronounce Mjolnir, Mjolnir. but then they asked Paul Rudd. And <laughs> Jonathan. Like, Jonathan. Oh. <laughs> Does he even know what universe he's playing a character in? Right. Like what's even. Anyways, happening? I'm tired. Right. Um, that's where we're gonna call it. Yeah. Folks. <laughs> Mjolnir. But yeah, keep those names up. I think right now in my head, AT McAT Face is. Who said that? It was Ian. It was Ian? Okay. Yeah, AT McAT Face is my. We need top to keep an eye pick, on Ian. <laughs> but. <laughs> it was right there too, and I didn't take it. Yeah, I'm, mad, I'm mad at myself. About it. Crazy. Uh, anyways. Well, it, I we had a blast. This has probably been one of my this is so much favorite fun. streams Thanks for we've hanging ever out. done. So I'm glad that you guys could have been a part of it. This was yeah. really fun when he was doing this. I'm like tired. Maybe that's yeah, why it's, I'm having a good time. Like, eh. Yeah, we need to do this more. We should just like hang out on a stream at some point. Thanks for streaming, guys. Thanks for being here, Brittany. I'm glad you could finally yeah. make a stream. Yeah, it's been Shout a while. Shout out to all the Brittany. Aussies out there that can finally like tune in. <laughs> um... Yeah, so um, so yeah, side note, um, this obviously isn't done yet. I'll be building it more tomorrow and maybe Thursday. Maybe like we'll do another like late night stream again. We'll see. And then, um, yeah, thanks again, Lego and Land, for sending this to our community for building and review. We really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, and I, oh, oh wait, did we get a super chat? Oh, oh gosh, um, Otis100, oh, thank you so much for the $5. Um, you guys have quickly become my favorite Lego channel <laughs> on YouTube. Man. Keep up the work and love deal. the videos. That is so sweet. I appreciate Aww. it. Oh, yes. Thank you. That is so, so sweet. Let's get you onto our... Oh, wait. Now you can watch me write it. Good. Let's get you on here. Aw. Can you invite Ladybird in? She wants to say hi. Oh, it is. There you are. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And um, I'm glad you enjoyed the content. Um, yeah, that's really sweet. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Um, and oh my gosh, Ian. Oh, Ian. Yeah. <laughs> you are amazing. You're, amazing. You're breathtaking. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, we even get puppy party. That's right. We're oh. building you a baby brother. Oh my god. <laughs> Claire came back just in time. Oh, yeah. Claire, it, it went off the deep rail. It's Everything's gone everywhere. Oh, my gosh. But we decided we're naming the ATAT, AT Mick, AT Face. It was Ian's idea. <laughs> Are I... you ending that? <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's like Ian, 9 o'clock. There you are. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> You're breathtaking. Appreciate it. Really appreciate the support, guys. Yeah, like I said, this has been like a blast of a live stream. Oh my stream. gosh, we need to do more like late night live streams. This is so fun. Yeah. I love this. Hey, Ladybird, you want to say goodbye? Yeah, come on. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone. <laughs> hey, give me the screwdriver. You need a screwdriver? Okay. There you go. Now I can adjust her arm. Oh my gosh. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Have a good one. <laughs>